buddy. Was the music working on that? <laughs> Happy World B Day, everybody. Happy World B Day. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a lot more planned than just that, Riley. Hi, Poison Kiwi. Thank you so much for the three months. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're gonna have a very educational B-Day stream. But first I'm just showing this playlist. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but just shout out. Somebody made a World B-Day celebration music playlist for us. So, pretty cool. I think it was made by Goophead. So this is what's in the... Of course, in the in the world B day playlist. What about now? It's time to rock with the big in the back. Bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the big in the back. Bumble. Classic. Thank you so much, Spookers, for subbing. Enjoy the emotes. Yeah, I'll post the link. Happy B day. Happy B day, Guy Tom. Thank you so much for subbing for two months. You gotta get those B emotes. Um, so yeah, you got, you got. You got that? <laughs> KK Bumble? Kanye Bumble? Oh my god. Megalovania Bumble. Anyway, I'll throw I'll throw up the link. So that was very cool. So I made the playlist for World B Day. Very very cool. Anyway, this is what we got going on. This is a game I found on Steam. It looks very educational. Very very educational. Um. Can you guys even read? Oh my god. I don't know. The text looks pretty small here. I kind of made it bigger. Um, I could probably make it a little bigger. Let's make this game a little bigger. But, um... Apparently this game is gonna have some B trivia. Like... Um... B mini games. All kinds of stuff. Hopefully it won't all just be a bunch of tiny text, though. <laughs> Hopefully it's not just that. Uh, so this game is called Be Aware. Perfect game for World Bee Day. Yep. Uh, this is this B in the corner. This is apparently BB. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. What do we got going on here? Uh, so apparently in this game we want to beat the bad industrialists. Mm, I really like about this game, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like... There's like all these little sound effects that go off. And look at, there's like a little bee flying around the screen. And there keeps being, um, like little things that go by the background and stuff. It's so cute. Oh, hi, Frost. I have no comment on that. I'm, a, I'm a, I like both parties equally, Frost. Bees and frogs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like the little animations that go by. It's pretty cute. Um, another thing about this game is it cannot go into windowed mode, so let me just set this up. <laughs> Classic. Classic Steam game. No B tour? I know. I was thinking about it, but um, it's just too much with this uh, this game. <laughs> okay, beat it, BB. I want to play the game. Um, here we go. Okay, hold on. Cleaning the hive. All right. How do you play this? Actually, we need to do biological pest control in all the countries of the world. Um, <laughs> a 
Okay. Oh! Set number of biological pest control units in North America. Okay, we don't have any units yet. So, from reading the description, I know that the biological pest control units is the currency. So, we need to earn some currency so we can control the... Okay, here we go. Okay, here's the mini games. So, should we play trivia first? Or a memory game? Or a maze? Or a puzzle? Be fast? Or beat the bear? Let's try beat the bear. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is an RTS, Walter. Apparently, it's a clicker. The guy on the Steam page described it as an active clicker. <laughs> okay, this can be a tough one. In this game, you control both your bee and the bear. Guide your bee through the terrain to the appropriate hive. The bear, who is actually Billy Joe Henry Bob in a suit, <laughs> out to destroy your hive, but don't tell Bee Bee mirrors your moves. Mind you, the bear is a stronger creature. It will cost him less energy to pass an object. <laughs> this is long, man. Oh, I got a hype train emote. Thank you, guys. What are you reading? Oh, God. You guys can't see it? Oh, my God. Dude, this game is like... Oh, no. Is it not going to work? Okay, let's see if it works when I click start. Okay. I'll just have to read the instructions to myself. It doesn't show the instructions on there. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, bears. Hmm, here goes. Be smarter than that big furry furry hairball. Watch out for this beast. Its claws are razor sharp. Okay, this time Billy Joe Henry Bob got a bear to scare you away. This farmer has lost it all, if you ask me. <laughs> Try to get to your main hive with fever moves in the bear so you can warn the other bees. Okay. A few hints. When you cross each other's path, you get the advantage. Score 120 moves or more less than the bear to win three extra bags of pest control. He just said he peed his pants. Oh my god, there's so much text in this. Be Aware is a great game. I've played it myself a million times. Okay, go, go on. <laughs> what are we doing here? What am I doing? Wow, you guys. This is like a Neopets level uh, Flash game. <laughs> there, I'm at the hive. I win, right? No? Damn. I guess I didn't read the instructions that well. I'm right here! Um... So, this, what do you guys think about this game? <laughs> I don't know about this. The bear took the same amount of moves? Game on hold? Oh, okay. Okay, let me just power over here and see what happens when I ran, ran into the bear. Maybe that'll be funny. Huh? Classic game. <laughs> Thank you, Pokey, for subbing. Enjoy the emotes. Get your B emotes on World B Day. Hmm. Huh. Well, I don't think I'm understanding this game. Um. Game over, you ended the game. Oh no. It got scary. It got really scary. <laughs> Why is it so scary now? Oh. Okay, here's something that we can't mess up, okay? There's no way to mess this up. It's just a jigsaw puzzle. Let's do a B jigsaw puzzle. Everyone loves a jigsaw puzzle. Alright, I know you guys can't probably see it, but there's instructions on the screen right now that I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, there's a collection of 56 images, dang. Okay, so... I need to study the picture. Easy, normal, or hard? Let's go easy for, for the first one, because these games seem kind of hard. Whoa! Can you 
guys see them all? Yeah, you can. Look how many puzzles we can pick from. Hmm. Dude, this baby is such a chatterbox. No, I, I won't. I got a date with the queen in an hour? Gonna party. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, which image should we pick? This is nice. Look how many images we can do. Beautiful. Hi, rocket guy. Happy World B Day. Thank you so much for subbing for seven months, rocket guy. Wow. Check these out. Some of these look hard. Hey, that's not a bee. That's a damn grasshopper. I like the ambient bee noises. Let's just do this big old bee. Let's just get right to it. Shuffle that bee. Here we go. Oh, why is this one flashing? Okay, I guess I don't know how to do a, a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> is this a swapper puzzle? Oh, it's a swapper puzzle. Okay. Never mind. I know how to do it. Wait, why is that one stuck? Does that mean it's in the correct location? Oh wait, so the eyeball might be in the right spot. I'm just gonna build off the eyeball. Is this the eye? Yeah, it is. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're gonna earn some biological pesticide bags or whatever. <laughs> we need these pesticide bags to save the bees. Okay, there was like a big lecture when I started the game up. Very educational lecture about like pesticides that are bad for the bees and it's the horrible industrialists, something like that. Um, what is this? The little antenna? It's a little f oh yeah, it's little feelers. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that bee. Oh yes, this is a little foot. The little foot of a bee. Oh, look at that beautiful leg. Look at that segmented. That's a nice looking leg. What's this, what's this yellow thing? There, stripes, stripes his butt, I know that. Um, okay, we need to finish out his legs. Oh, look at that foot. Oh, its foot looks so soft. Have you guys ever pet one? You can pet bees sometimes. If you're brave. I did it. Okay, this has a foot. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Dude, do you guys hear that, like, random sound? of a bee talking. I think there's a bee talking in the background of this game. I can't tell what it's saying though. Alright, we're just gonna have to randomly shuffle these until they're correct. There we go! Give us the pesticide! Feasing the pieces! The puzzle's complete! <gasps> How much did we earn? How much money did we get? Game over, you finished? Zero? Better luck next time. You collected zero points. Why did we get zero points? I know you guys can't see it because it's in a pop-up, but it says I collected zero points and it's... <laughs> sucks! What the heck? Okay, let's try this. I'm good at this kind of thing. This looks easy. It's a maze. I'll play on easy mode. Collect bee eggs to gain points. Avoid hidden enemies. Use arrow keys or WASD. Okay. Use your super bee instinct to reveal space around you at the cost of 100 points. Don't forget there are eggs hidden in the maze. Collect bee eggs. Okay, avoid hidden enemies. Your bee will buzz and glow when you're near an enemy. Every time you hit a hidden enemy for the first time, you will lose an egg. Okay, here I go. Woohoo! Oh my god, this bee talks so much. Beat it. I'm 
sorry, I shouldn't be rude to the Beyond World B Day, but come on. He's crazy. Oh, use Super B Instinct on the house? That's kind of cool. Alright. Oh, I like this one. Look, we're like clearing. Oh no! What the fuck is that blue thing? Oh god, it's coming for me. What is that? It's a sp it's an elong ah! It's an elongated human head. Is that a Metroid? What is this? Oh my god, this is the worst. B oh my god, this is the worst world B day yet. I'm sorry, you guys. This is so scary. <laughs> it looks so cute. This is just scary. I can't win at anything. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. World B Day can be saved. World B, B Day can still be saved, you guys. Here, let's do some trivia, okay? There's no messing up trivia. <laughs> Each quiz is 20 questions. If you have 10 or more correct answers, you will be awarded points. You must complete a quiz in order to receive points. Okay, guys, this is gonna take our collective knowledge. All right, hopefully you can actually see it. Yes, you can, okay. All right, everybody. Albert Einstein allegedly said, if the bee disappeared off the surface of the globe, then man would only have years of life left no more bees no more pollination no more plants no more animals no more man how many years did he think mankind could survive when all bees would be dead what do you guys think a hundred four four years i actually have no idea so shit one year but let's think about it realistically. You can like preserve food and stuff. So one year year is too easy. I'm thinking maybe either four years or 20 years. <sighs> four years. Yeah, four years. Let's say four years, four years. He was probably exaggerating. Why? Is Einstein a known exaggerator? It's four? I googled? Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. I was leaning towards four. Let's see. The next question? Oh, I guess it doesn't tell us if we were correct. That's so cool. <laughs> this is a great game. Hey, but you see that little bee flying across the middle of the screen? Look at him. And my cursor is a bee. It's not so bad. <laughs> okay, true or not, let's hope bees will never go extinct. Anyway, bees have been around for a long time. Can you guess when we came into existence on our planet? What the fuck? So, is this a bee speaking, or is this a human? Which, who's speaking here? A bee? I think it's a bee speaking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna think bees have been around for like, approximately uh, 50 million. What do you guys think? <laughs> I like that it says the word approximately. I'm going for it. I'm going approximately. All right. That's way before mankind started evolving. Maybe it means we got it correct if we were able to go to the next question. I don't know. All right. Fun fact, it is believed that bees evolved from wasps. What? I have nothing in common with wasps. Your colors, BB. What? Right. Uh, okay, there are many bee species. Any idea how many there are known to man? Okay. This is a huge range. A hundred species? 
17,500 to 20,000 or over 100,000. Hmm. I mean, this is too many species for anything. What the heck? How's there gonna be that many? Maybe 2,000. 2,000 max, I'm thinking. Walter, you think 20K? Walter, where are they? How's there gonna be 20K species? There are like five of the game creator stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking it's 2,000, but the chat likes 20k. You searched it on Bing? Oh my god. You binged it? Oh my god. Okay, 20k. Here we go. We don't really know if it was right or wrong. I assume we get our score at the end, and then we probably won't even know which were correct and which were wrong, so... That's a good feature of the quiz. <laughs> well, that's a lot more than I thought. Without a doubt, you have seen bees in your environment. So, you think we only live there? Think again. So, where do bees usually live? <laughs> I'm gonna say every continent except Antarctica. Next. That's easy. That's so easy. There are dark times for the bee. Oh, these are dark times for the bee as a species. Many of us have perished because of a serious threat. Oh, I know what the threat is. Billy Joe Henry Bob! AKA pollution caused by humans. Oh, so sad. So sad. The humans are killing the bees. Bees are in more than one way threatened in their existence. It's not just pollution. Oh, which of the creatures mentioned here is also a serious threat? <gasps> the fire ant, the ladybug, the elephant, or the varroa mite? Oh, it's definitely the varroa mite. Because, obviously. That's very specific. Yeah. Whoa, what's this falling across the screen? Hey, what is that? Whoa, it just went into his mouth. What the fuck? Did you guys see that? <laughs> A thing just fell on the screen and flew into his mouth. <laughs> All right. Elephant, ha ha, think you're funny? Oh, I guess he's laughing at one of the answers. Colony collapse disorder is a phenomenon for which scientists still do not have a conclusive explanation, though a specific family of pesticides might be involved, as well as other factors, such as the varroa mite. Oh, sorry, my alarm went off. What exactly happens during a colony collapse? All the bees implode. Almost all the worker bees disappear, the hive is stressed out and collapses, or it's a metaphor, they all need therapy. Guys, we might need to rewind on this World Bee Day game. <laughs> we have to get through 20 questions of this. This is only question 7. Um, I'm thinking. VG Leah Golden out, Froggers, VG Leah Golden Froggers, VG Leah Golden Froggers, Donkey Moor. <laughs> oh my god! Lulu, thank you so much for subbing for five months and thank you for subbing at tier three. What the heck? Thank you so much, Lulu. Thank you for the golden froggers. <laughs> this game, could this game be any better? No, probably not. Okay, so do the worker bees disappear or does the hive get stressed out and collapses? I don't actually know. Colony collapse makes it sound like the thing collapses. <laughs> Let's go with that. We gotta go, we gotta pick up the pace. Burr, I'm glad that didn't happen to my hive. You have seen bees in the field, busy flying from flower to flower. All corn diet, happy bee day. Thank you so much for two months, all corn diet. Often wondered what we're doing. We are amongst other things, collecting something. What do bees collect? Oh, Pollen! Done. 
pollen. When we find nectar, we alert other bees in a special way. How do we signal our bees? Oh, don't they like, they um, they dance in the air, right? They dance in the air. They dance, right? Yes, yes, they dance. Yeah, yeah, waggle dance. It's called the waggle dance. The last one was nectar you read to Willie. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Listen, we only need to get um, a f we only need ten to get one bag of pesticide or whatever. So, I think we'll get there. Ah, Thresh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Jump Nubbins. Thank you so Whoa. much, Thresh. And thank you, Invisible Man. Happy World Bee Day. Hey, happy World Bee Day. Beautiful day for World Bee Day. Now let's see. Do you know how bees make honey? I know they chew on it. Yes, they vomit. Bees make honey by vomiting. Gross. Thank God it tastes good and has great nutritious value. By searching for nectar, bees incidentally perform a very important task. Pollination. We pick up pollen and take care of the pollination plants. Okay. Hi, Uncle Bee. I see. <laughs> Gross. Gross with an E. Gross. Chupacabra, thank you so much for subbing. Enjoy the emotes and the bee motes. It's a good thing we pollinate various plants. Any idea why it is a good thing? Because... They need it for reproduction. Mm -hmm. Imagine what life would be like without fruits and vegetables. Bees are not the only creatures responsible for pollination. All we do a lot of it about a third. Wasps and flies, amongst others, <clears throat> are also important pollinators. Any idea how many species pollinate flowering plants? Oh no! A million? More than a million? Okay, well this one kind of looks like it's probably this one because... Like, look, at least 100,000, possibly even twice that amount. That's so specific. It's probably that. He gave it away. Hi, Soggy Cornflakes. Hi, Large Maxwell. What do you guys think? I think it's the one where he gave it away. I'm going for it. Possibly even twice that amount. Back to bees. Bees need to eat, just as all living beings. We need energy and proteins, which are provided by... Um... Nectar and pollen? Wait, only five more questions of bee trivia. Bees do more than just pollinate and make honey. What more useful things do we produce? Um... Wax, royal jelly... I know those two are true, so maybe pro- I've never heard of propolis. What the heck is propolis? Wow. Hi, planter. Happy World Bee Day. Well, it's off to a very interesting start. Very, very interesting. That's all I can say. Royal jelly is used to feed some larvae and the queen. Yes, that's true. Under what circumstances do worker bees feed some larvae large amounts of royal jelly? When the colony is about to collapse due to disease, when the queen is dying or has died in order to produce a new queen, when there's too much royal jelly, or sometimes bees don't have a clue and make mistakes while feeding? No. No, 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 no. Let's go for it. Maybe the queen is dying or died and need to produce a new queen? That sounds right. <laughs> and it's World Bee Day. On World Bee Day, they all get royal jelly. <laughs> I think they need to make a new queen. I don't know. In the previous questions, I mentioned worker bees. What other type? What other main type of bees live in a colony? 
Oh, here we go. Queen and janitor B. Queen and box B. <laughs> Queen and slave B. Oh my god. Queen and drone B. Hmm, I'm thinking drone. Drone sounds right. <laughs> boss B. The boss baby. Alright. Okay, the drone is a male B. Oh, it was drone. Obviously. <laughs> it's a male bee with no sting and does not gather nectar and pollen. So, I'm a drone then? Yes, BB, you don't do much. You just talk a lot. Yeah, true. Alright, I'm also involved in... Well, let's turn that into a question. What is the main purpose of the drone? Okay, to defend against enemies, we build the hive to mate with the queen, or drones provide the entertainment in the colony. <laughs> Um, I don't know, jeez, these are hard. What are you thinking? Do you think he's defends against the enemies or to mate with the queen? Hmm. There's a certain time of year where the worker bees kick the drones out and leave them to die in the cold? Really? That makes me think they mate with the queen. I guess that was right. See, I work my butt off. Worker bees perform various tasks early in their life for 17 days, depending on their age. Choose the correct batch of tasks. Wax production, water carrying, and cell cleaning. What is this? What is this puff of smoke on my screen now? What? Why did my cursor turn into this puff of smoke now? Why am... I clicked on it in my... <laughs> I'm in fart mode! Fart mode activated. Alright. Guarding cleaning of dead bees and nurse duties. <laughs> Cell cleaning, nurse duties, and wax production. What? This is child labor! Hmm. I'm thinking... Uh, this one. Hey, no more fart mode. I'm gonna go cell cleaning, nurse, and wax. Oh, the final question. Okay. And to conclude the first quiz, worker bees perform a much broader range of tasks. You'd be surprised about the nature and variety. Here are a few of those tasks. Think, think you can pick the correct set? Okay, okay. Honey sealing. Cleaning up dead bees and stamping on honey berries. Guys, what is a honeyberry? They keep saying honeyberries, but what is that? Is that a real thing? It sounds yummy. Sounds like the name of a cereal that I would like. They should sell honeyberries cereal. Drone feeding, firefighting, and water carrying? No. Pollen oh! packing, fanning for cooling, and foraging? No. Hi, Jetpack! Oh, thank you! Thank you for the bits! Foraging, entertaining the queen, and honeycomb building! What is with this entertainment? Do you really need to entertain the queen? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the first one. Stamping on honeyberries! To make wine! That's how they make their wine for the queen. They got a stamp on the honeyberries. Alright, view score. <gasps> 16! Not bad! We got two... We got two bags of pesticide or whatever. <laughs> no, I don't lose! No! Don't play the scary thunderstorm graphic again, please. Please don't play the scary thunderstorm graphic. Click on view answers for an over- Oh look! What is it- Why does he eat that? Give me that! Oh my god. Why does that go into his mouth? <laughs> okay. Let's view the answers. <sighs> okay, the answer to this was four. We got it. 
Oh, we got this wrong. It was over a mil hundred million? Dang. Should've known. Oh, we got that right. Let's just see what we got wrong. I'm gonna skip over ones we got right. Oh, the hive is stressed out and collapses was wrong. Almost all the worker disappears. Okay. And I did the nectar pollen one wrong. That's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. What did we get? Probably the last one was wrong. The honey berry. <laughs> It was! They do fanning for cooling? What? Bees get too warm and they have to fan themselves? I can't believe that. The bees get too warm, huh? Alright. They need to fan to cool themselves off. G game over! Oh wait, no, it's not a thunderstorm. You guys can't see it, but there's a pop-up right here that says, Game over, you've won a bit. Great, enjoy your zen moment. Let's enjoy a zen moment. <laughs> ah. Zen. Zen moment is over. Back to work. Back to work. Back to work, everybody. <laughs> Let's see. Um, be fast. That sounds exciting. Let's get some action. This is an action game, okay? What is this, car racing? Okay, this is gonna be something good now. Okay. I'm gonna read the instructions, I know you can't see it, but let me just read quick. WASD. I need to retrieve all the honeycombs before they decay. The honey is hidden from my view. It's only visible when the sun or moon shines on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Guide your bee to the honey when you spot it. Pick it up and bring it to the basket. Work your way through three time stages, containing up to seven honeycombs to retrieve. Each honeycomb is worth 20 points. 100 points when you will give you one bag of pest control. Okay. A stage ends when you get shot? Okay, I'm gonna be getting shot at. <laughs> okay, go! Uh -huh. Watch closely for the yellow glow. It will only be visible for a brief moment. Alright. Let's get at it. Let me at it. Okay, we need the sun to shine. I was shot. <laughs> I was shot immediately, I think. What the fuck? I was shot so fast and the bee screamed. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you so much, Jetpack, for gifting Major Mello. Oh my god. Okay, please don't shoot me. Holy shit. Who the fuck's gonna shoot me out here? Ah! Oh, that thing's like laying down smoke and I can't fly. Okay, I just saw there was a glow on the top left here. Ah, give me that. I got one. Okay, we just need four more to get one bag of pesticide crap or whatever. Please don't shoot me. You motherfucker. Where the fuck is the honeycombs? Cough them up. <laughs> Why is there a freaking airplane laying down chemtrails on me? Oh, I don't see any honey. Am I blind? Or is it not working? Uh, happy World Bee Day, everyone. Where the fuck is the honeycomb? Ah, no shoot! <laughs> I got shot! Oh fuck! Take the honey to the basket? Oh, frick! 
did call me money. Oh, I got it, I got it. I forgot about that part. I was too stressed trying not to get friggin' shot. Who's out here shooting bees? Alright, I saw Honeycomb, it was right here. I saw it! I must have already got it. Well, let's try to go to the basket. successful game so far. Oh, there it is! It's on the cow's back. Just <laughs> have to get past the airplane and the man shooting me with his gun. <laughs> Alright. Three pieces of honey. That's 60 points. That's not enough to get any pesticides yet. So... We're almost there, though. Oh, you got one. For a game called Be Fast, I really do not travel very fast at all. I feel so slow. <laughs> uh, especially when you get hit by the smoke, you just go even slower. Please, don't you? Yeah, when do I get a gun? Let me start shooting back. Okay, where are the honey at? I got- Oh, I have 100 points! That means I've gotten one bag of fertilizer. I saw the honey. You found all the honeycomb. Click to continue to the next stage. All right. Finally, some success. Whoa! This is a UFO day. Dang! This is a whole UFO in this field. Awesome. That's a cool looking UFO. right now that says game over you hurt badly you collected one thing enjoy your zen moment ah zen moment <laughs> i was shot this is heaven yeah this is the b afterlife he did fucking die <sighs> Let's continue. <gasps> Dude, look at this little man up here. Tic Tac with Billy Joe Henry Bob. Oh my god. <laughs> I found a I found a secret game. Wait, you guys can see this No, you guys can't see it! This sucks! Dude, right now there's like a pop-up that shows a tic-tac-toe mini-game. And there's this crazy man's face and it's awesome. This is so sad, you can't see it. Just trust me, I'm not losing my mind. I'm playing tic-tac-toe right now. I'm 100% I'm playing tic-tac-toe and I'm gonna win. So, yeah. Oh, he rigged it, he rigged it. Okay, he, he rigged this. It says if I win, I get a bag of soil, so I'm trying to win one. Oh, fuck off, Billy Bob. Billy Joe Henry Bob, oh, fuck off. Okay, I got out of there. He was cheating at tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Here, let's do this. Bees versus mites. Remember, the mites are the threat to the bees. We learned this in the trivia. 
keep Beatrice safe. Um, collect flowers for points, avoid the mites. And use the arrow keys to move. Alright, great. This is finally something very simple. Let's get some flowers. <gasps> oh, this is good. This is good. This will be fun. <gasps> Flower! But it's like on top of a mite. Oh, I snagged it. Oh, look how cute this bee is! <laughs> Dang, these really look like Metroids. It's kinda cool. <gasps> Whoa! What's happening in the background? There's like a vacuum? Vac or a leaf blower! Oh, a leaf blower! It's blowing leaves to distract, distract you. And it's working. That's kind of cool. Yahoo! Slow down mode. Yahoo! The pot? That flower Yahoo! had somebody's face in it. <laughs> it's Yahoo! blowing mites into the air? Oh no! Oh fuck! They're eating me! No! Ah! Oh my god! That animation! <laughs> they literally chomped up the bee! Oh my god, now it's scary again! I'm sorry, you guys, I'm sorry! Oh no. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> World B Day is so scary, I'm sorry, you guys! Oh no. Uh, here, let's go put our, um, our biological pest control units. Let's save North America, look. 6,000 to go? I... I only have five. It's saying I need 6,000. Holy fuck. Okay, look, there's a flower on the map, okay. Okay, wait, each bag counted for 500, so really I I added 500 just now. Or each bag was, okay, well. Well, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take quite a while. <laughs> Here, memory, I'm good at memory games. I'm very good at memory games. Here we go. Do you know any bee raps? No, I don't. And I had a hard time looking for like bee songs and bee music today. <laughs> it's a gameplay. <laughs> oh, thank you for the bee facts, Juvenoia. Let's see if your brain can handle a memory exercise. Yeah, I got this. What the fuck are these pictures? Is that peppers? Peppercorn? And normal pepper? A bunch of peppers? Corn? These are not the images I expected to find. Okay, there. The butterfly? That makes more sense. Oh, bananas! There we go. What was this? Jam. Oh, leaves. Do you guys know about the 17 year cicadas? Apparently, there's gonna be like cicadas hatching that only hatch once every 17 years. And there's gonna be, like, they're gonna be, like, everywhere. There are gonna be, like, trillions of them. So watch out. They're already here? <gasps> what? I haven't seen them yet. I need to find some. I love cicadas. But they look kind of scary. Bay leaf. What the fuck are these pictures? Oh, I know I saw this, um, butterfly. Where was it? There it was. I can't remember anything. This bee game is, like, messing with my mind, you know? <laughs> oh, did we see pickles before? No, not yet. Oh, bean plate! A plate of beans! I've seen that. Here it is. The little plate of beans card. Oh, you know 
what this is? Oh my god. Is this like everything that we would not have if bees went extinct? <gasps> is that what's going on? This must be stuff we wouldn't have if the bees went extinct, so. I understand now. Oh, plate of pickles. Guys, just remember that if the bees go extinct, there will be no more pickles for anybody. Not even you, Walter Pickles. There we go. How many tries did we do? Why was the water splashing me? With a toilet sound. Oh, I got one bag. I got one bag, you guys. Enjoy a zen moment. Enjoy <laughs> the Zen moment. So Zen. We burned one bag. <laughs> Let's add the bag to the United States of America here, or North America. Add 100. All right, only 5,400 left to go. Now there's two flowers. All right. Um, this looks like it might be a text adventure or something. Is this a text adventure? What is this? Okay, I know you can't read instructions, but I'm gonna read them out loud because they're not showing. So it says, be ready to be brave. Think you're brave enough to face the perils of the vile village, the warped wasteland, the ferocious forest, and the gruesome grotto? Then help your lost bee find the elusive golden honey jar and guide him home. Not by navigating with your arrow keys, but by giving orders using your keyboard. A through Z and zero through nine. It's an old fashioned text adventure. Oh my God. There's a tech, there's a bee themed text adventure right now. All right. <laughs> Easy mode, you will not have to restart and follow the whole path to where you were before you died. In hard mode, you must, however, dust will not be deducted from your score. This setting cannot be changed until you complete Be Brave. Oh my God. Okay, whatever. Let's do easy mode. Whatever. Okay. Text adventure. This is not a good, um, <laughs> my chat text is black on black right now. This is, here, let me fix that. I can fix that because we're going to be in here for a while. We're entering a text adventure, so there we go. <laughs> okay. Not for the faint of heart. First things first, since BB tells the story, oh fuck, this fucker cannot be held responsible for any silly or out of place remarks or comments made by this bee. What's he gonna say? BB, you better not get me in trouble. Thank you for your understanding. This is a story of a bee with an insatiable lust for honey. This bee now had heard of a unique golden jar of honey located at the end of the world. This jar was supposed to hold an endless supply of the best honey ever made. Sweeter than sweet and more golden than gold itself. Oh. Since this bee's brawl was bigger than his brain, what? He decided to give it a go and wondered if of wandered off in search of this elusive jar of delicious honey. Unfortunately, his sense of direction was impaired due to his blind obsession for honey, and our poor little protagonist got lost. Now, darkness falls, and our bee has no clue how to get this harp jenny. Har jar? Oh my god. Har, har of jenny. Jar of honey, let alone know his way home. This is where you, the player, come in. Help this little bee find his golden jar and get him home safely. Okay, press enter. This is such a freaking long story! Hi, Sector. Oh my god. A bee creepy pasta? Yeah, there's literally like a werewolf howling <clears throat> and like scary thunder noises. 
This game likes to be scary. Okay, it's dark here alone in a barren wasteland. Chilling sounds fill the air and a creature is howling. You feel lost, cold, alone. Suddenly a flash of lightning reveals silhouette. It's another bee. You hurry towards the bee, but when you when you get closer, you can clearly see there's something wrong. He sees you as well and squeaks out to you. Hey, you there, come here. As you approach him, you are shocked by the deplorable <laughs> state he is in. What? Listen up, says the shriveled bee with a raucous voice. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you said you want to go to Nutty Jar, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Shriveled bee. <laughs> Surprised you not in your head. I've been searching for it as well. I've searched everywhere for the keys to the golden gate beyond which the golden honey jar lies. Alas, to no avail. Oh my god. As you're about to ask for more information, he gets struck by lightning! Emptiness of the wasteland, shivering from the cold end of what just happened, you wonder where to go. Should you go back or perhaps wander off into the wasteland, where left, right, and forward are viable options? Oh my god. <laughs> Rest in peace, shriveled bee. Rest in peace. This has ruined me. you guys no we're gonna get hey we're gonna get the golden jar of honey we're gonna get the golden jar of honey and the golden key look <laughs> we've got this <laughs> okay let's go to the right right there's nothing here nothing but barren wasteland you fly on for hours <clears throat> until you lose your sense of direction. If you proceed, you will probably die. Nothing here? Or is there? Excuse me? Why does it say, or is there? It just told us there is nothing. Proceed? Let's proceed. I don't know. Unable to comply. What? <laughs> What? What should I type? Proceed didn't work. Proceed. Check. Check. Is it so hard to type something sane? OMG. OMG, this game. Forward, okay, forward, forward, forward. Oh, here we go. There's still nothing here. Nothing but barren wasteland. The loneliness gets to you as well as the hunger and thirst that you feel your life force slowly fading away. You're getting more and more exhausted. All you can think of is laying down and sleep. Sleep forever? 
Why is this game so dark? Look at how cute the little thing with the flowers. And the <laughs> if you like to be stubborn and still want to proceed, you will surely perish. Nothing here. However, one can never be sure. <sighs> Forward. You thought you knew where you were going. Alas, you got lost. The harsh truth is you've gone too far. You didn't listen. Now it's too late. Dehydration and starvation make it impossible for you to go any further. Your exhausted body falls to the ground. Crippling your wings and legs with your last breath on your dying lips. You drag your body onward until slowly but surely your last heart beats silently echoes and you die. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Who made this? Why did they make it like this? It looks so cute. Oh my god. <sighs> Look, remember this? This was fun. This was fun. Remember this? Look how cute. Look at this cute little bee. Now just don't... Now, as long as I don't get eaten, this game is not horrific at all. As long as I can avoid the death animation where all the mites swarm and chew this bee apart piece by piece then this is a fun and cute game <laughs> whoa I'm glowing purple what the fuck is that oh it's like a spray bottle jeez this thing oh no oh no guys don't look don't look don't look uh, don't look at that don't look at that hey check bees are in danger we need to save the bees that's you know it's re it's realistic that's all did 
Did I win? Oh, I might have won. I don't know. Did I win? Thank you, Captain Milo. Thank you. <laughs> B days taught me too much. I mean, we're educating ourselves. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. Whoa. I just feel like, um, there was something about, like, if you hit obstacles, you lose points or something, so... If I avoid as many obstacles as possible, maybe I'll win? Did I win? No, that didn't make me win. How the fuck does the game work? This game makes no sense. <laughs> that B ain't right. I don't know, this game ain't right, man. There's something about this game that doesn't... <laughs> does not compute. Alright. I'll have to take a good hard Three. look at the instructions for that game, I think. Claramatic, thank you so much for five months, Claramatic. Thank you. Alright, well, do we want to have another go at, like, the trivia? Did you guys like the bee trivia? That was pretty fun. Bee trivia was a good time. That was like the most confident uh, thing we did. Don't think about the shriveled bee. Don't think about him. He lived a long, a long life. Okay. <laughs> He's probably the first bee in the history of the universe to be hit by lightning. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's just do some more bee trivia. We have like continuous of bee facts. Yes, we love bee facts. We love them. <laughs> well, happily first a sad one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does it have to be a sad fact? Sad. It's not that sad. It's just what is the average lifespan of a honeybee? That's not sad. That's not sad. What's the average lifespan? <laughs> six weeks? Six months? Six weeks to six months? Depending on function and time of year we are born? Well, then that makes it sound like that. Let's go with that. That's a long time for like a... Isn't that a long time? Six months! <laughs> That's kind of cool because like, hexagons are six-sided, you know? Right? Like six... It said six weeks to six months? And hexagons are six-sided? That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, if I live that short, I wouldn't get anything done. Uh oh. Oh, he has a heated hive, no problem here. <gasps> Wait! They could actually live years? I think this is telling us they could actually live 10 years or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see at the end if we make it through 20 questions. <laughs> Anyway, bees, like most creatures, go through different stages after being born. Well, after the egg is laid. Can you name the correct stages? Dude, if bees live 10 years? That's crazy. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Egg, larva, and adult. Egg, baby, infant. Egg, pupa, and adult. Okay, well, definitely... 
Okay, egg is first. What's after egg? Larva or pupa? I thought a pupa was like another form of an egg, to be honest. Larva is like a little worm, so shouldn't that be like after? Pupa? What the fuck? It's probably just egg, larva, and adult. Egg, larva, adult. Right? Pupa is after larva? Oh, well, Hammy Lime is very smart. I'll go with the first one. I've never seen a bee pupa. What on earth is a pupa? Oh, look! The game is gonna educate me right now. Can you tell what happens during the pupa stage? Extra food is given to the pupa so it can become a healthy adult. The pupa is deciding whether to become a worker, a queen, or a drone. Nonsense, this stage does not exist. Or feeding stops, the wax cell is capped and the larva transforms into an adult. Shit. I have no idea. These all sound plausible. I guess I'm thinking it decides whether to be a worker, a queen, or a drone? Oh, they cap them? Oh yeah, because I've seen videos of like the bees crawling out of like the caps, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going, yeah, D. D for sure, for sure. Before entering the pupa stage, the larva must be fed. This is done by worker bees who have a specific tasks. <gasps> Look, it's one of these pesticide bags. No, why do you eat them? Dude, he always eats those. <laughs> is this really the best bee game on Steam? I don't know. Uh, probably not. To be honest, I really, I was, I didn't want to play Bee Simulator. I still have a grudge against the Bee Simulator. So this was the second best after that. <laughs> there was one called Flappy Bee, which I was like, oh, Flappy Bird, but with a bee, that's perfect. But. It was actually just helicopter. It wasn't Flappy Bird, it was helicopter. And it was $10. Okay, um, how many times do they need to be fed each day, the larva? Oh my god. 1,300, 40, or 100? Over 100. I'm gonna say well over 100. Because how could there be 1,300 times a day? The food given to the larva is made up of three ingredients. Pollen, honey, and secretions from the brood nurses. There's a special name for this mixture. <gasps> is it honeyberries? Oh. Gross! <laughs> Gross guacamole. Bee jelly. Bee bread. What? What is this music? Yeah, it's part of the game. The music is part of the game. Guys, what are we thinking? Honey mix? Bee jelly or bee bread? Uh, or gross guacamole. You never know. It could be gross guacamole. Oh yeah, bee movie the game. I was kind of thinking about that. But definitely bread. Bee bread. Alright, we're going bee bread. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd rather have bread with some honey on it. Oh, so it was bee bread. Interesting. So we've covered some stages in the early life of a honeybee. Do you know how long it takes for an egg to become a functional worker? Mm, is it just three days? Amazing! Oh, three weeks. Okay. Still amazing! Back to adult bees and their chances of survival. What the species of bees, apart from the queen, does not... What species of bees does not survive the winter? Okay. Is it the... Honeybee? Sad, ain't it? So beautiful and so short-lived. 
so what species of bee does Beatrice belong to? Who the fuck is Beatrice? I mean, uh, who's Beatrice? <laughs> Are we supposed to know Beatrice? <laughs> what species is she? Guys, what species do we think Beatrice is? Stingless bee, honey bee, bumblebee, or carpenter bee? I'm thinking Bumble. Definitely getting Bumble vibes from Beatrice. <laughs> Horse bee? <laughs> this is insane. Uh, in the previous quiz, I mentioned the number of pollinators known to mankind. Okay, so you might think bees are not so important. Oh, they're responsible for about a third. We already we already saw that. Oh, stingless? They said it earlier. The fuck? Beatrice is the one on screen? <laughs> it's like five bees on screen right now. Ah, uh, well. Um, okay. Aren't we the hardworking kind? Honey, let's continue with that. Honey is very nutritious. Some even call it superfood because of the vitamins and minerals. Seven, it contains. So wouldn't it be great for you folks to just eat honey all day from day one? It's not safe in large quantities. It's not safe in large quantities and babies under one year can get infant botulism. Oh, sure, it will make you strong, smart, and healthy. Or I don't like honey. Wait a minute. If honey is not safe in large quantities, then I'm scared. It is bad for babies? Oh no, because I feel like I've eaten large quantities of honey, so. <laughs> oh, hi, Bloom Bee. Bloom Bee, happy World Bee Day. So it's not safe in large quantities. What can happen to you? I've definitely eaten a lot of honey before. I mean, how large is large? Like a truckload? <laughs> I wouldn't listen to what this game has to say. Oh, I mean, fair. All right, we'll go with that one. Still, honey in dose quantities is very healthy and mankind has been consuming it for many years. Ah, okay. Weird. I would like to know exactly how much honey is not safe. <laughs> You'll shrivel up. <laughs> You'll just shrivel up. Uh, like the shriveled bee. Can you, can you guess when mankind started using honey as a nutritious and tasteful ingredient for drinks and food? Friggin' 9,000 years ago, probably. Yeah. You folks probably use it before that, but hey, no evidence has been found longer than 9,000 years. Fun fact when properly. Oh, look, it's the fart cloud! Yes! Engage fart mode! Engage fart mode! Guys, you guys are talking all this rah rah, all this smack about this game, but this game has fart mode, okay? Have you ever played another game with fart mode? I don't think so. My cursor is now this horrible green blob. Until I click one time, then it's over. Oh <laughs> wait, true! Wizard101 did have fart mode. Fuck. It did, it did. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> this is this game is part of a short list of exclusive games with fart mode, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, you guys are right, Wario. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, when properly sealed, honey can be consumed for hundreds, possibly thousands of years. Bees use nectar for making honey, nectar that is produced by flowering plants. Is that the only nectar available? Yes, without these plants, the bees will go extinct. No, there are plenty of insects producing honeydew? Dude, bug mountain dew. Bug Mountain Dew. There's excellent nectar available at the local grocery store. 
No, there are insects producing honeydew. Yet yeah, flowering plants make up the bulk. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Honeydew? That's the name of melon. Honeydew melon. Hmm, I'd rather not eat the secretions of other insects, but it is what it is. All that work, collecting nectar day in and day out. How much honey does a honeybee produce on average in its short-lived life? At least one jar or else we get fired. Less than a gram, one ounce, one tablespoon fully filled. Hmm. Well, everyone knows that bees measure in tablespoons. So, yeah, obviously one tablespoon. Enough about honey. Let's talk about the queen. Queen bees usually outlive worker bees by a long time. Do you know how long a honeybee queen can live? Okay. How long? 10 years. Now that's a number that's been thrown out in this quiz previously. So I'm thinking 10 years, but damn. A bee lives 10 years? Two years if she's lucky, three to four years if the conditions are right, until she dies! That's technically true! Until she dies, she lives! That's it! That's it! If that's wrong, then that, then I'm done. If that answer is wrong, then we're done. Because that's correct. It's just true. Hmm, she'll probably outlive me. What happens with the honeybee queen during the winter? She gets all cozy and warm in the hive with her worker bees surrounding her. The queen flies south with some worker bees to aid her. She finds a hibernating bear and cuddles up next to it. She finds a first spot and leaves all the worker bees to die? Dang. Is it that? <laughs> Is it that? Hmm. I definitely don't see any bees migrating south. I'm thinking it's either the first one or the last one. <laughs> it's the third one. She cuddles up next to a bear. Let's say the first one, because that's nicer. We don't want them all to die. We picked, in the, we picked the first one. Anyway, to be the queen, the highest in the hierarchy must be awesome. Do you think it's a position she will hold all her life? Yes. Like humans, bees don't know any better. <laughs> yes. Us bees are very attached to our queen. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Maybe there was one that was... No, that was right. I'm gonna say yes. Bumblebees do not survive the winter, but the queen does. Any idea how she survives the winter? Oh, she goes underground and lowers her met metabolic rate. That sounds correct. The queen infiltrates a honey beehive. Dang. She hides in your bathroom under the toilet seat. The queen surrounds herself with dead workers. Oh, fuck, it's that. Guys, don't be sad. Don't be sad. Hey, guys. Nobody's sad on World Bee Day, okay? Nobody's sad. <laughs> Let's talk about the size of the hive of the bumblebee. In comparison to the honeybee, I'm talking about... I'm talking number of bees here. <laughs> Any idea if they differ much? Yes. Wait, what the fuck? What does it mean, thousands? A few thousand bees? Oh, the hive! Oh, the size of the hive! Okay, okay, so like the number of bees that are in there. Okay. So how many bees are in a bumblebee hive versus a honeybee hive? Hmm. Size doesn't matter. Hmm. Can be many tens of thousands or no more than a few thousand. Hmm. You know... I'm thinking 
it's probably the same. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Tens of thousands? Oh, Bloom Bee. Well, we have to go... Bloom Bee... They gotta know. Tens of thousands. Given the fact that a bumblebee colony consists of a few hundred bees... Whoa. How, how can one tell a honeybee from a bumblebee? Bumblebees are smaller? No. Bumblebees are bigger. Bumblebees are bigger and hairy. Yep, yep. It's that one. It's that one. They're big and hairy. And finally, to conclude the bee quizzes, will bees go extinct in the near future? Well... <laughs> no! A lot are endangered, but the honeybee survives for now. Or maybe it's most bees are already extinct? Or is it a lot of them are endangered, but they survive? What do you guys think? We'll just say they're, they're surviving. We n they're not extinct. It's probably that, though. Whatever. What do we get? What's our score? Oh, okay, 13. Well, <laughs> we get one bag of fertilizer for that. Man, this game is like downer. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got wrong. Hmm, what was wrong? What was wrong? Over a hundred times a day? Oh, that was wrong. Oh, B Brand was right. Oh, yeah, three weeks instead of three days. Oh, this was wrong. The species that does not survive the winter is actually the bumblebee. Oh, Beatrice is a bumblebee, you guys. Beatrice is a bumblebee. I got it right. <laughs> All right, we better we better get that one right. You know the one. It better be right. Oh, it wasn't a tablespoon. Bullshit. This is not right. This is not- the game's gonna tell me this is not right. Really. This is not right. Alright. We're done with that. We're done with that. We're done. We're done. This is outrageous. This is an outrage. We're shutting it off. Everyone, this is what we're really here for. This is what we're really here for. to enjoy another zen moment though <laughs> who wants to enjoy another zen moment no you guys don't even like the zen moment oh my god this game is a complete failure <laughs> no thanks oh fuck all right no more zen moments Hey, who wants to enjoy another jigsaw puzzle? Hmm? <laughs> who wants to give more um, pesticides, biological pest control units to North America? Hmm? <laughs> who wants to? <laughs> well, thank you so much, 10th, for gifting four subs. Dang, thank you, 10th. Enjoy the gift subs. Enjoy the bee emotes. Happy World Bee Day. <laughs> oh, and thank you 10th for subbing. Thank you so much. New bee game? You guys, I don't have I don't have a whole collection of bee games queued up. 
come on! No one likes a jigsaw! Look. Look at these jigsaws and tell me you don't like them. Mm -hmm. We could do a ladybug. <laughs> oh, look, beehives. I don't know what other bee game to play. Google B flash games? No, flash games are gone. They're gone. Listen, I know you guys are not gonna like this, but I kind of am curious to continue the text adventure game. <laughs> it was getting real fucked up and I'm pretty curious how the rest of that game would go. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty entertaining. I don't know. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. But you guys have to be strong, okay? I don't want to see all those sad faces. Then I feel bad. <laughs> oh, no sad faces. Brace yourselves. Oh no, it's getting scary again already. Look, we can handle it. Skip through the shriveled bee. Uh, yeah, we'll skip through that part. <laughs> uh, here we go, here we go, okay. Okay. Oh, look, we're, we pick up right where we left off. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> um. Okay, let's go back. Just stay back. Um, back? There, okay. So we went right and there's nothing left. Let's go left. There's nothing here, nothing but barren wasteland. Okay, this is the same exact text, so that's probably the wrong way again. Forward. Oh, here we go. Struggling against the freezing wind, you move on. All you see around you is a vast, dark void. Only briefly interrupted by lightning. That, what? What? Am I on the alien planet? Dust and other small particles constantly blow in your face, making it hard to see anything. You think about all the things you've heard about the golden honey jar. Its contents are so delicious. You will be in a euphoric state every day. Oh my god. It will never get empty. And you will never have to work again, since it will fulfill your needs every single day. You fly onward until you see another silhouette, vaguely visible in this unnerving darkness. As you get closer, it's a signpost. At a crossroad. Thank you so much, Branduku, for subbing with Prime. Join the emotes. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's go forward, I guess, right? Oh, um, what? You fly onward, read, um, signpost. Oh, here we go. Got it. Hi, Waffle. You fly against hammering winds towards the now clearly visible signpost. Once there, you see that it actually consists of four signs, each pointing a different direction. Try to maintain your balance in the battering wind. You read the signs. Warped wasteland, ferocious forest, gruesome grotto. Whoosh! The vile wind blows you a few yards backwards. <laughs> the vile wind. Suddenly, while struggling to get back to the signs, something smashes into your face. It's a leaflet with just one text. Beware the evil! Flee while you can! Oh my god! What's the evil? Who's dropping leaflets that say beware the evil? <laughs> now feeling very uncomfortable, you finally reach the signpost again and you read the last sign. Vile village. Uncertain what to do, you decide it's best to move on. The place you are currently at holds no promises to either four directions. Okay, guys. I'm thinking Ferocious Forest. What do you guys think? Yeah, Ferocious Forest, Ferocious Forest. <laughs> the 
village? Oh my god, it's Resident Evil Village. <laughs> you enter the ferocious forest with caution. Lightning flashes c create spooky images on the bare trees. Pairs of tiny red lights are barely visible through the trees. And wait, did they move? Fear almost gets the better of you. Why did they make this a haunted game? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you manage to control yourself. You look over your shoulder and can hardly see the entrance to the forest. You turn forward and looking ahead, you see a path. You hesitate. Should I go back and try to find my way home? But then you remember the shriveled old bee. <laughs> and his last words. And you know, you just have to find the golden keys. That will open the golden gate so you can get to the golden honey jar. And with each thought of golden and honey, your obsession quickly overpowers your fear. I'm a psycho, and you feel confident enough to move on. The dense forest gives you no other option than to move forward. Here we go. As you move on through the dark tunnel formed by the dense forest, you wonder how long it's been since you left home. Strangely enough, your sense of time is totally gone. <laughs> It's been like one minute <laughs> ever since you arrived at the wasteland. Will they miss me at home, you wonder? And you're left with a melancholic mood. And so you move on until you come to a crossing. There's no signpost at this crossing, so you have no idea where the paths lead to. There's a path to the left and a path to the right. Neither seem very inviting. The peering red lights are also visible on both paths, so maybe moving on is not such a bad idea after all. All right, let's go right again. <laughs> to be honest, this seems like something I would have made in like middle school. Like all of this, I would have made this whole like thing with the honey and the bee and crap. <laughs> That's horrifying text adventure. <laughs> I know, Green Goblin. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it looked like it was going to be an educational bee game. Like, it was like, oh, learn bee trivia, play fun bee mini games. It didn't mention the, <laughs> the genre of these mini games. As soon as you take the right fork, the darkness intensifies. Gone are the red lights, and not a sound is to be heard. Slowly, you proceed down the dark path until you reach some kind of stairway. The steps are roughly cut out of mud and rock, and look like they were made ages ago. Ooh, that sounds like the steps to the golden keys. The steps are overgrown. With entangled branches, you can't fly up. Oh. With a deep sigh, you start climbing the staircase. It seems to go on forever, and you're about to turn back when you see a little light ahead of you. <gasps> Get it! It's a golden key! What? What do I do? Ah, Bloom Bee, thank you so much for subbing! Whoa, for six months in advance? Thank you so much, Bloom Bee! Happy World Bee Day again! <laughs> Hi, Carrot! Happy World Bee Day to you too, Carrot! Okay, I guess we say climb? No? Climb stairs. Oh, alright. <laughs> Climbing the final step, you now see that the small light waves back and forth and starts to move away from you. A slight hissing sound is heard and you shiver. Again, the thought of luscious golden honey drives you onward, and you start following the light. The path meanders on and on, and again, you lose your sense of time and direction. Yes, follow the light. Someone or something seems to whisper from afar. Oh god, it's a trap. It's a trap. Yes, come closer, closer. Suddenly, claws reach at you from the sides of the path and grab you tight. Oh my god. <laughs> Terrifying laughter deafens your ears. And a big hornet looks right at you. Dude, a hornet has claws. Well, well, look what we've got here, says the hornet. A measly little bee. Ha 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 ha. With one swift blow to the head, the big bully immobilizes you. You are dragged away while your consciousness slowly fades. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, it's gonna be okay. As you awake.
Mike with a terrible headache. You notice you were chained to a tree stump. The giant hornet stands above. I'm chained? What the fuck? His saliva drops in your head. Next, he lies the rotting carcass of a caterpillar. I'm hungry, slave. <laughs> character I've ever seen. What do we do? Stab him? Kill him? Sting him? How do we kill him? Kill Wasp. No one's going to get killed today? Well, maybe you if you don't pay attention? What? What do we do? Sting him. Oh, okay, that won't even input. Sting. Okay, that won't input either. What the heck? What, do you strangle him? Oh my god, pussy. Stab! <laughs> Kill. Okay, let's try stab. No, okay. Chain. Him. What? Hi there. It just said hi there. Chain. Wasp. Dang it. Um, he's vulnerable. He's vulnerable. <laughs> and I, like... Oh, we have a... We... How did we cut? Yeah, we were cutting up a caterpillar. Do we have a knife? Stab the wasp! Oh, man. Fork? Oh. Hit it with a rock? Eat him? Vomit! No. <laughs> knife him? Knife him! Knife wasp! Attack! Oh! Attack worked! Attack! Yes! <laughs> Suddenly realizing this might be your only chance to escape, you look around for a way to kill the beast! Since you've only got your bare hands at your disposal, your chances are slim to none. The hornet turns around and looks at you with a wicked grin! Don't even think of trying to escape! You'll be next on the menu! Useless slave! Face it, your time has come! You're as good as dead. For real? Are we just gonna die? Is this literally just a death? And there was no... <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Click back or press escape to continue? Okay, escape. 
As soon as you take the right fork, the darkness intensifies. Go oh my god, we're back! That was a death! That was just... We just died. And then it sent us back. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it made us read all of that just to die. Staircase. We should go back. We should go back. And then we should go to the left. Because the right was no good. <laughs> the silence of the bees. <laughs> Hi, Am Sandwich. Welcome in. This has been a, a kind of a crazy stream. I, it's gone a lot differently than I expected, you know? I thought we would just be having some laughs at the cute little bee game. The things are actually getting pretty fucked up. It's getting... I can't even lie, it's getting pretty fucked up. <laughs> As you move left, you see a sloped path meandering into the darkness. You also notice an increased number of paired red lights moving swiftly behind the trees. Suddenly you realize that the lights are... Oh god, we know their eyes. We know. We've... You feel shivers running down your back. At this point, the place you came from seems like a relatively safe haven. You move on and on endlessly down the twisted, sloped path. Finally, exhausted by the long haul, you see a clearing up ahead. You hesitate. Will it be a good place to rest for a while? Yes! Forward! Um, clearing. Okay. We got it. Fun and relaxing gameplay for the casual gamer. Yeah! That's what it said on Steam! It rubs the honey on its skin! <laughs> Rubs against the hose again! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, every minigame has been... Honestly, the bee got shot. The bee got eaten up by a bunch of red mites. Chewed on piece by piece. Uh, this is... I hear a lot of scary noises right now, too. You enter the clearing, and immediately you're surrounded by tiny fairy-like creatures. Oh, that sounds cute. That sounds cute. I think the wasp in the, in the last place we went actually made this game. I think this game was made by that wasp. <laughs> Okay, as I swarm around you, some try to attack you? No! And more of the hideous creatures enter the clearing. You said they were fairies. The swarm gets thicker, they push you toward the middle of the clearing, towards a dark pit? Well, I can fly. Hovering above the pit, your eyes spread wide out of pure fear, you look down. Your heart starts to race as you slowly perceive what's in the pit. Dozens upon dozens of dead bees! <laughs> Dead bee pit? What the fuck? <laughs> They're beautiful exoskeletons, all weathered and gray, sucked dry by the little pests <laughs> swarming around you. <laughs> Why? Why did it have to be a dead bee pit? <laughs> You cry as one daring devilish fairy stings you in your butt. The oh, fuck? <laughs> Why am I sting me? I'm a bee. Do something. Think quickly. You desperately shout to your inner self. Is there a way to defend myself? I mean, I could try like sting them. They're stinging me. That doesn't work. It doesn't register when I type sting. Um, fly away! Nope. <sighs> How can I defend myself against a bunch of bee-eating ex 
exoskeleton sucking fairy like creatures. Fly away didn't work. How would I just say escape? No. God, the music playing is out of a horror movie for real. Self destruct. I hate this horror movie music. Jump in the pit? Okay, jump in pit. Nope, didn't work. Shoot. Um, eat them. Nope. Vomit. Nope. Offer them honey? Oh, uh, honey. Nope. Hide? <gasps> Attack! Oh, attack always works! Attack! You suddenly realize you're facing an overwhelming force with nothing more than your bare body to- Oh my god, this is gonna be horrific, I can already tell. <sighs> you lash out at the first fairy that comes to you and rip it to shreds. The f Alas, your wings get partially torn off and you feel your power fading. More and more fairies close in on you and you can see their sharp teeth glowing in the unnatural light of their eyes. The first bite rips off one of your legs and then another and another. your bleeding body I don't think this guy understands bees man I was really <laughs> the fairies suck the life out of you <laughs> until your shriveled skeleton falls to the bottom of the pit <sighs> you're dead did you have a weapon no so why try to move on unarmed? Well, dude. Holy crap. You should have used the sting from the corpses as weapons and the corpses as armor? Oh, true. Yeah, my stinger is a weapon. Maybe look for weapon? They keep pointing out that you got no weapon. Oh, true, Red Pegan. We have to get out of here. This horror music is too much. Oh my god, the horror music is just going to keep going for this whole thing, isn't it? Why do I feel like this entire game was like... I just kind of feel that the entire game was constructed to conceal this terrifying text adventure. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like frog fractions kind of thing. I feel like they made this whole game just to hide their horrific text adventure. <laughs> and I think I'm the first person who discovered it. <laughs> and the Steam page had like... It just said like, oh, fun mini games for the casual gamer. All casual gamers will enjoy the <laughs> And this horror music, dad. <sighs> okay, let's play. Let's do something like put on better music so we can tolerate this low butter. Because this chain's rattling and evil noises is not the world B day vibe. What's the game called? It's called Be Aware. Are there any reviews? There was literally one review. <laughs> Only one review. And it wouldn't even show it to me. There are three hidden mini games. I did find one. It was Tic Tac Toe. But it wouldn't show on the stream for some reason. The game like doesn't show pop ups. It's weird. Oh, B Galaxy music from Mario Galaxy? True! Let's put that on. Okay, let's turn off. Turn off this. No more. It's no more horrific. <laughs> but that's gonna ruin the atmosphere for you guys. Do you want this? Do you want to hear the horrible sound? Or do you want the B Galaxy music? It's not really gonna fit the vibe. Hmm. 
Maybe we could have, like... I just wish it wasn't so repetitive. Yeah, we need to match the... Hmm. Alright, we're just having this horrible rep two second loop. <laughs> two second loop is back on. They're just getting on my nerves that it's such a short loop, but. You know. <laughs> I also like how this bee has such like a. <laughs> look at his face. Nightmares included? Yeah. Yeah. Nightmares included. But yeah, he's like making a shocked face in here. On all the other games, he was smiling. <laughs> and that's what he's just shocked. <laughs> oh, there is a review. This is a really great game. It has nice retro finish, and you can learn about bees. <laughs> all in all, I can recommend this game. Oh, all right. I'm not learning anything about it on this. Oh, okay, so we need to- maybe we'll search for a weapon. Search for a weapon. Oh, fuck. Okay, go back? Can we just go back? Yes, okay, we were able to go back. We got out of there. <laughs> Am I gonna drop a review? Yeah, I'll add a- I, maybe I'll add a review to the same page, I don't know, we'll see. <sighs> okay, let's go back. So the forest did not seem to be any good for us. I mean, that was the whole forest. That was everything in the forest. Use another bee's leg. There was one more Chinese review. Seven different types of casual games. Who's calling these casual? They're so we It's good to play occasionally? All right. <laughs> Great for children, best played in a dark room after midnight. <sighs> Dang, I don't know what to do. Should we try to go back to the fairies and fight them somehow? Maybe there's like a secret thing to type in to fight them. Because I feel like Red Pecan had a good idea about, um, like finding a weapon, but... I should play this occasionally, and I won't be playing this again after today. This is a World Bee Day special. <laughs> that nobody asked for. Hmm. Alright, let's investigate another place. I mean, it's so linear though, like, we can't search anywhere. I don't know. Beware the evil! Flee while you can! Okay, so that was the ferocious forest. Let's go to the warped wasteland. Let's just go down the list one by one. As soon as you enter the warped wasteland, you notice something is very off. The landscape seems all warped and twisted, and the clouds spiral in all directions. Dang, look at the background! See, this is what I'm talking about. I know I haven't like all zoomed in, but let me change it so you can see. There's like these custom backgrounds for each one of them. Look at what they did for this. They like photoshopped it into like a creepy pasta look. Like, <laughs> this is the warped wasteland. Oh. They totally made this whole game just to disguise this text adventure. Um, alright. Immediately your mind begins to twist as well, and you feel nauseous. Whoa, you think. How will I ever find a golden key here? How will I? Then all of a sudden everything is back to normal. Oh, but your head still spins from the distorted impression. Then again, everything starts all over. No, you cry out. This ain't happening! <laughs> The environment is stripped of all color, yet you notice something peculiar in the distance. A little green plant stands out. Oh my god, it's like Wally! <laughs> he decided to take a closer look. Okay, plant. Go up to the plant. 
Moving towards the plant, the strange effect of the warped wasteland keeps turning on and off. One moment you're on a more or less straight path. The next it twists from left to right in a weird fashion. It's hard to get to the plant, but eventually you reach the green weed. A little voice in your head tells you to pluck it and eat it. Should you, you hesitate, should you really use this? Or go on and try your luck? What if it's poisonous? <gasps> it's like Alice in Wonderland. We should eat it. We should definitely eat it, right? Eat it. Eat. Weed. <gasps> you eat the plant. And just after a little while, the warping and twisting stops, and slowly colors start to appear. The environment is now purple. A soul mountain in the distance has a blue glance, and the sky is deep red. Thinking this is still pretty weird, you're glad the warping and twisting is over. Looking around, there aren't any landmark marks to focus on, apart from some rocks here and there. The landscape looks more like a desert than anything else, even though the soil is purple. Maybe at the mountain you will find something concrete, a pathway, or just a simple clue of some sort. With a sigh, you decide to undertake the long journey to the mountain. Alright. Go to mountain. You decide not to fly in order to save energy, so you start walking towards the mountain. You think about home and wonder how everyone's doing. Probably going about their daily business, foraging for nectar, and doing all the other odd jobs. Oh well, you think. If I succeed, I'll be seeing them again. S seeing them sometime soon again. If not, well, you'd rather not think about the latter. Preoccupied, it takes a while before you notice the soil changed from sandy to glassy. What does that mean? Glassy soil? <laughs> you stop for a moment to examine the glass surface. Oh. Looking down, you scare yourself nectarless. <laughs> There's a bee underneath the surface, and it's not your reflection. <gasps> he waves at you when you jump back. Suddenly, he's gone, and all is back to normal. Moving onto the mountain, you constantly check the surface, but the bee does not return. What? What? Dude, what was this guy thinking of? Oh, what? <laughs> what do we do? Look for the bee or let's just go to the mountain? Go to mountain. After what seems like days, you finally reach the mountain. You wonder why you don't feel hungry or thirsty and gather it must have been the plant you ate. At the foot of the mountain, there are three possibilities. There's a path of the mountain, a path to the left and right. Unfortunately, the path to the mountain is too steep and flying up is not an option <laughs> due to the increased strength of the wind. What? So why are you telling us about it? What? Alright. <laughs> Let's go right. You move to the right, along the foot of the mountain. The path stretches out into the distance, and except for the mountain, there are no landmarks in sight. Lost in thoughts, you keep walking for hours on end until an odd feeling forces you to look <laughs> over your shoulder. To your surprise, you see the crossroads you passed earlier, and where you took the path to the right. You realize you haven't made any progress at all. Disillusioned, you sit down, and as you look at the crossroads again, wondering what to do, the perspective suddenly changes, and the mountain disappears into the distance, until it's no longer visible. The path is gone and you're somewhere in the middle of nowhere. You did make some progress, but now you're lost in the purple dunes. What? <sighs> Alright. <laughs> go up the mountain anyway, right? Why does it tell us there's a path up the mountain if we can't go up it? This don't make no sense at all. Um, right on. Yeah. Let's just go forward. You get up and try your luck in this direction. Passing dune after dune, you drag yourself along the barren wasteland. Hours pass. Okay. A lot of time is always passing in the quest for the golden honey drawer. Reminiscing your life in the hive, you can't help but smile. <laughs> Why raise it? This is like Lord of the Rings. They're thinking about the Shire. The warm rays of the sun, the fields filled with a diversity of flowers, the smell of nectar and pollen. Oh, He's like Frodo out here. 
the buzzing of your family members. Each thought makes you feel happier and you almost start to curse the day you left. Oh well, you think no use in crying over spilled nectar. And you, so you move on, hoping to find a clue leading to one of the golden keys. Um, find a clue. This is not happening? Dang it. Look for a clue. It's happening? Find a clue. Typo's not allowed? Oh, okay. Um, forward. What is your objective in this game? We're looking for the golden honey jar, which to get you need to go get golden keys and then go through a golden gate. <laughs> you keep passing dune after dune and at each top you stop to look around, but all you can see is dunes. There's no vegetation nor any rocks or other objects. The wind is still strong and you're having trouble keeping the sand grains from your eyes and mouth. I thought it was glassy. What happened to the glass with the other bee? <laughs> Your mouth starts to feel like sandpaper, and you start to wonder how long you will last in this arid environment. You decide to fly up for a bit, hoping to catch a glimpse of something else but the dunes. For a brief moment, you hover in the air, just and just before the wind smashes you to the ground, you see something that looks like an oasis. Oh! Go to the oasis! By the way, you guys, <laughs> I selected easy mode for this. And if you pick hard mode, you get sent back to the beginning of the game after every death, which we've had like four deaths so far. But since we've had deaths, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's even worse. On easy mode, it said that every time you die, it reduces your score. Like, look, it says score reduction one bag. So even if we win, I bet we'll have died so many times that we don't even get any prize from this. These bags of pesticide crap is the hardest thing ever <laughs> to get any of. <laughs> We're gonna beat this whole thing and get zero bags. <laughs> but hey, we, we found an oasis, okay? Move towards the oasis. As you get closer to your relief, you see it's not a mirage. It's a real oasis. Palm trees flank the banks of a water basin. And there's an actual Arabian tent. A small band of bees is playing Middle Eastern music. And there's a veiled female bee by the waterside. She waves at you, and while rubbing your eyes in disbelief, you are immediately drawn to her. As you approach her, she hands you a cup filled with fresh water. And you start to drink. While pouring the last drop of water into your dried mouth, there's a sudden flash of light, and you find yourself alone among the dunes again. Oh, come on. Gone is the oasis, gone are the bees playing sweet music, <laughs> and gone is the lovely lady who gave you water. So it was a mirage after all. Strangely enough, though, your thirst is gone. Water! She gave me water! <laughs> what? Judging by the story, you'll win bags of blood at the end. Oh, God. Uh, I want so much to know what happens when you beat them. Wow! <laughs> oh, I'm glad you uh, you came around to Visible Man. Thank you for the bits. Yes, happy World Bee Day. Truly a, truly a bee day to go down in the ages. Um... Okay, so forward, or like, look for the oasis. Look for lovely lady. <laughs> How sweet, that's the first time anyone said that to me? Whoa, the, the thing is responding to lovely lady. Um, look for oasis. No, all right, forward. Oh my god, these things are so long to read. Refresh as if you drank the water, you move on. There are no landmarks, you start to feel lost. You backtrack using your footsteps, but as you turn around, you see no trail. The strong winds even the sand, and you're stranded. You succumb to a strong feeling of despair. And just as you want to lay down and give up, you see something moving in your direction. You wonder what that might be. As it gets closer, you suddenly realize it's the Blue Mountain, racing towards you at an insane speed. 
Getting scared, you frantically try to run away to no avail. The ground beneath your feet starts to elevate, and before you know it, you're standing at the top of the Blue Mountain. Hey, we got to the top of the Blue Mountain! Nice! <laughs> Trying to maintain your balance in the strong wind, you're thrown off the peak. Oh, you slide down the steep path you saw earlier at the crossing. After a long slide, you bounce to the ground. You get up, checking your body for any defects, and you're slightly bruised. You shake the dust from your wings. You realize you're in some kind of loop. <gasps> We're in a loop! You have to decide which direction to follow. For now, you decide it's best to move on. Continuing the path to the right? I do? But that's where I went before, and I was in a loop. What does it mean we're in a loop? <laughs> I I was at the top of the mountain and then it slid me down. Okay, what if we go left? It told us to go right, but what if we go left? Ugh, unable to go left, alright. We're going right. Um, is this something that we've read before? Yes, we've read this before. Wait, what if we go left now? <gasps> oh, following your intuition, you decide to go left. Well, any direction was as good as any other, right? You pass dune after dune without noticeable change in the environment. The wind keeps howling, as do the wolves. <laughs> How are these wolves hiding? Are they like underground wolves or like... I mean, there's keeps saying there's nothing, but there's wolves howling. That's all I'm saying. As if in unity, they composed a song of desolation which never ends. <laughs> On the top of a faraway dune, you see shady figures moving about. Oh, well, could that be the wolves? You shiver with cold from the freezing wind, but there's no shelter. You just have to keep moving. Alright. Go to shady figures. No? Go to figures. Approach wolves. No. Climb dune. Okay, forward. <laughs> Passing dune after dune, you lose sense of direction. The shady creatures you've noticed before are now visible on more than one dune top, and they just stand there watching you as you pass by. Now you see they're not wolves, but bees! Wearing shaggy brownish rags as clothes. More and more of them gather on the dune tops, just standing there, silently observing you. And it makes you feel very uncomfortable. You sense something bad is about to happen. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Suddenly a group of bees encircles you, and there's no way of escaping them. One considerably elder grey-bearded bee steps forward. <laughs> And speaks to you. Welcome, O oh, Chosen One! Proclaims the bearded bee, follow me! What? Why should I follow you? You reply, but the bee says nothing, and the group starts pushing you forward. Realizing you've got no other choice but to follow the bee, you start to move with the group. Creepy bees! <laughs> cool! I'm the Chosen One! I'm the Chosen One. Okay, go with the bees. There we go. As the group pushes you forward, more and more bees gather around you, and out of the blue, they begin to chant. Some even bang on makeshift drums. You try to cover your ears, but the bees next to you pull your arms down, forcing you to listen to their awful singing. Oh my god, I hear it. Wait, do you guys hear it? I hear it. Listen. I hear their awful singing! <laughs> oh, what is it like me. to be married to the greatest rapper and gamer alive? <laughs> what do you think about Anthony Fantano's response video? A lot of uh, shots yes. fired. Ah, uh, very good questions, Grant Darude. And thank you for your resub, Grant. Uh, we'll just have to see what Jason does about that. That's all I have to say. <laughs> he should reveal these bees chanting, is what he should do. He 
hearing this? These bees in their office singing? After a while, you and the group arrive at what looks like a mound, and the bees flanking you force you to kneel before the elder bee. Hey, you shout, was I not the chosen one? You try to get up, but they keep pushing you to the ground. Listen, O oh chosen one, says the elder bee. We are at the sacred mound of Queen Bronwyn Night Angel. Uh, right, you stutter. Silence, shouts the bee. You are to enter the mound, ignore the ghosts, and find the golden ring! Ah, oh, here we go! What? Ghosts? You cry out, but I... Before you can speak any further, you are grabbed by your shoulders and tossed into the mound. The entrance is sealed and you are left all alone, though you can still hear the awful chanting. Alright. We're gonna find the golden ring. Uh, you get up and you see you're in a square room, barely lit by the few torches hanging on the limestone walls. Strange sepia-colored colored images cover the walls, depicting bees dressed in robes. Okay, so we're in the bees cult... The bee cult tomb. <laughs> Dancing in warped and twisted sceneries. You see three hallways leaving the room. One in front of you, one to the left, and one to the right. Always with the one left and right. So many crossroads. Well, we're going right. We always go right first. The path line to the right is long and twisted. After a while, you lose your sense of direction. Thankfully, the corridor is lit by torches, so you don't have to grope in the dark. There are no tombs in the walls, yet the eerie sound of ghosts is omnipresent. <gasps> you come to a small room containing rocks with some broken urns. There are three pathways leading from the chamber, all three blocked by limestone slabs. However, the one to the left is broken. There's a small opening at the top. <gasps> mm. So we should go left. You worm yourself through the opening. I know the sound. It's the ghost, you guys. We're hearing the ghosts of the tomb. <laughs> we just need to find the golden ring. You warm yourself through the opening in the limestone slab, entering a narrow crawl space. It's dark and cold in there, yet you proceed with determination. Crawling across the sandy surface, the sound of ghosts is getting louder, much to your discomfort. In the distance, you see a faint blue shimmer, slowly move- It's a ghost! It's a ghost! Slowly moving back and forth in the crawl space. As you get closer, it disappears. You've come to the end of the narrow passage and see some light through a crack in the wall. You push against the wall and a piece of it tumbles to the floor. You peek through the hole and see that you've reached the burial chamber! That must be where the golden ring is! Breaking away the rest of the wall, you create an opening big enough to get through. Enter chamber. As soon as you enter the burial chamber, a blue ethereal shimmer starts- It's a nice ghost, guys! It's a nice ghost! Wigglepums! Yeah, there's something horrible happening in here. <laughs> uh, it's just em it starts to emerge from the sarcophagus in the middle. It grows larger until it fills half the room. With a sudden rush, it moves toward you and hovers above you. You realize you're standing face to face with a real ghost. You, whispers the ghost. Who are you? Before you can reply, the ghost speaks again. You... He whispers, You are not one of my people. You don't belong here. I have to take- I have to take your life! Wait, you cry out. I can prove I'm one of your people? How? The ghost asks. How are you going to prove this? The ghost has you cornered, and you nervously try to think of a solution. Should you fight the ghost? Or? <laughs> prove- Prove I'm one of his people. Darn it. Um, sing a song! Oh, do the chanting! Do the chanting! Chant! Come on. Sing. Chant. Dance. Dance. Tell a joke. <gasps> What's old and nags all the time? The developer! Ha ha! Ha Well, that did something. 
What do we do? How do we prove that the we're one of the ghosts? <laughs> Tell him about the golden honey. Oh. <laughs> Say boo. That was a good idea. That was a good idea, you guys. Say boo. Kiss ghost. Oh. <laughs> attack? Oh my god! Should we really attack? Alright, attack! Oh fuck! Oh my god. You try to attack the ghost! <laughs> but you're no match for him! Now completely cornered, the ghost starts to absorb your life force! Your mind slowly starts to fade! Your last thoughts are with your family in the hive, and a single tear rolls down your eye. You're dead. <laughs> your soul will always be a part of this doomed tomb, and your body is left to rot in the burial chamber. <laughs> so sad! <laughs> so sad! Hopefully there's a tomb left for you! <laughs> what the fuck? This game is so hard. It seriously is so hard. Well, I feel like that was the answer. We needed to be in the burial chamber. We needed to get his... Golden ring! <laughs> Ignore the ghost. Huh. Maybe we should explore the rest of the area before we go to the burial chamber. Maybe we'll find an item. Let's look for an item before we go confront the ghost. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> oh, search the urns. Search the urns. Oh, man. Because this room said it has racks with gold broken urns. 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 Look at urns. Alright, I guess not. Yeah, look around is like never an option. Oh, take an urn? Wait, wait, we'll go back in. Wait, take urn. No, look. Look around. Nope, still nothing. Alright, let's go left. Corridor to the left is narrow and dark. You move carefully across the sandy floor. At some point it becomes so narrow you can hardly squeeze your body between the rough surface of the walls. Suddenly the path widens and you enter a large room. Its ceiling supported by Roman style columns. The room seems to go on forever and you wonder whether or not it's wise to move on. Well, we got to. You move across the room which doesn't seem to end at all. Hours pass and there's still no end in sight. <laughs> Seeing a common theme in this game, your feet are starting to feel sore, and you decide to take a rest. As you lay yourself to rest against one of the columns, your eyelids become heavy, and you fall into a restless sleep. You dream you're surrounded by half-dead bees, dressed in brown rags, chanting that awful song you heard earlier. <laughs> oh, try typing win game. Yeah, good call. They always have that. <laughs> A group of bees is closing in on you, carrying what looks like a sarcophagus. They place the sarcophagus in front of you, and as you look inside, you see the half-rotten corpse of a bee queen. She suddenly moves and stretches her arms out to you. Ah, my love, she says with a grating voice. We are finally reunited. You try to move away from her rotting hands, <laughs> but you're stuck in place, and she starts caressing your face, and she moves forward and tries to kiss you with her decayed lips. Suddenly <laughs> you awake and you re Dude, I tried to kiss the ghost. That should have been the answer. Kiss the ghost. <laughs> ah, my love. <laughs> you realize it was just a bad dream. The image of the dead queen still haunts you. And you can even smell the rotten flesh of the half-dead bees. Wiping the sweat from your forehead, you shake off the dream from your mind's eye and decide it's best to move on. Okay. Forward. In the distance, you can see the hollows coming to an end. You sigh with relief. 
there's a small doorway in the middle of the wall at the end, just as narrow as the one you passed earlier. Squeeze between the rough surface of the walls. The pathway widens, you can make out a faint light at the end of the corridor. As you close in on the light, you see a familiar room, and in the distance you hear that awful chanting, realizing you're back where you started. Oh. Okay, so that was the loop. Um, enter entry hall. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go forward. Yeah, we went left and right, so forward. A strange sound can be heard, as if the spirits of the dead still roam this catacomb. <laughs> Cautiously, you keep moving through the hallway. Inside the walls are carved out tombs, in which corpses of bees are laid out! <laughs> they are dressed in worn, once colorful robes, decorated with gold embroidery. <gasps> gold? Indicating the society was once prosperous. You move on, carefully placing your steps on the sandy surface, afraid to trigger some kind of trap. There's a staircase in front of you, and you descend further into the faint-lit corridor. Okay, so there might be a trap, but... Let's go down the staircase. <laughs> I know, Grant! I know, I thought we were celebrating B-Day. We are celebrating, it just turned... It's just a little weird, okay? Hey, you want you want to celebrate here? We go. Here, this is all the celebration we need. Okay. We're happy. Here. We're happy. We're enjoying ourselves. We love we love this. I just heard a bee sneeze. I think I might be losing it, but I think I heard a bee sneezing. That song is giving you PTSD. Totally weird. Come on. Come on. It's that's so dramatic. It jump scared you. Oh, sorry, Hemi Lime. <laughs> God. Uh, okay, I can keep moving on. Past endless rows of long dead bees. Somehow they seem to stare at you, not with their eyes, but with some kind of invisible, ethereal essence. Some of the bees even seem to move, but when you look closely, they lie perfectly still. Wondering if your mind is playing tricks on you, you hastily tr tread along the corridor, trying to ignore that unearthly feeling. At the end of the corridor, in the faint light of the torches, you see a stone door. It really gets creepy now! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, open the door. You reach a stone door and see it's engraved with strange, partially worn symbols. One symbol stands out, though, and it's a sarcophagus with what looks like a queen bee inside. You try to move the stone slab to no avail. You try your best to find some hidden mechanism, but there seems to be none. Maybe one of the other hallways leads to this place. And you start making your way back to the entry hall. Oh. So the queen bee is in the sarcophagus. While passing the tombs in the walls, you're intuition suddenly urges you to take one of the robes oh <gasps> yes we can prove that we're one of yes the robe guys we're finally making progress we're making progress we remove a robe from one of the corpses shake the dust off and hide it under your wings yay yeah back now we can face that ghost Okay. Right. Okay. Go in the opening. Go in the chamber. Put on robe. Unable to comply? Are you kidding? Use robe. No. Show robe. No. Wear robe? <laughs> Nothing is working! Eat the robe! Give robe? Oh my god! This is unbelievable! This is outrageous! Should I have put on the robe before this? What the fuck? 
Just type robe with embroidery. Okay, okay. Robe with embroidery. Nope. Item. Use item. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> robe! What? Yes, Walter, I can't beat this text game! I haven't made any progress. B robe. I am outraged too. Uh, talk, talk, kiss. My love. Caress the rotten face. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I got my big bean burrito oh. hat. Thank you for the hat. Uh, drink water. Thank you so much, Chunky Kong, for subbing and for getting the hat. I'm glad you got it already, too. Thanks so much. Happy Robe B Day. <laughs> Walk forward. Give Robe, Show Robe. Okay, well, well, we'll try them again, but I think I did. Give Robe, Show Robe. Oh my god. Inventory, inventory. How about that? No! Kill. Show road. Walk forward. Okay, forward. Fuck. Disguise? Disguise. Wait, go back. Nope. Type help? Help! Just click on the help button at the bottom of the screen. Psh. Alright. Use some help. Let's see. Maybe this will actually help. Oh boy. Oh, wait. You can use the 0 through 9 keys to enter commands and click back or press escape to end the game. <sighs> oh, look what it says. I'm not responsible for anxiety attacks or nightmares as a consequence of playing B Brain. <laughs> And if some or all of the text makes you cringe, it's because the developer is not a native English speaker. Edited by text. Aww. <laughs> the game has a disclaimer. <laughs> oh my god, look what this says. There's a new game plus. I think he's saying that this game has a new game plus. You can visit four regions in total, as well as the start region. Every region except start contains a golden key, which you will have to find. Once the key is found, that region is no longer accessible until all the keys in the golden honey jar are found. The game will then reset, so you can play again. You won't get any points for a second playthrough, though. Why play a second time anyway, you ask? Well, the game has multiple paths that will lead you in a different way to find the golden keys. <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> That's all I will tell you, else I might spoil the fun of discovering. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to play again. We have to play again. Oh my god. Alright. There's our help. <laughs> what do we do? Can we put in one? Two? Three? I don't know what numbers do. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna be here all night. Shoot. Maybe we can, like, go in sarcophagus. Hey, bonk. bonk. Okay, win the game, guys. This always works. 100% of the time in these games, this works. Dang it. What if you just type robe? I think I did. No. Robe with embroidery. No. Maybe it's like... I don't know. I've tried every iteration of putting on the robe and wearing the robe and crap. Drop robe. Um. Take out robe. Put on my robe and wizard hat. Fuck. <laughs> Uso 
our F probe. <laughs> Dang, what can we do? Can we click the green text? <gasps> can I? No. I was so excited, I thought maybe I could. Dang it. Can I just type I for inventory? No. Mm. How about show robe? Show robe. No. Present the robe. I tried looking up a walkthrough, but there's no results. Darn it. Burn the robe. <laughs> Guys, we are pioneers of be brave, of be aware. We're the only ones who will figure this out. We can't go back. We can attack them again. Maybe the problem is we should have put the robe on before we got here. Oh, open your wings? That's pretty smart, Danny, because I do remember the robe was, like, under the wings, but, yeah, unfortunately it didn't work. Nobody has ever played this before. Give the robe. Chant. Yeah, we tried chanting and singing and kissing and. <laughs> Let's just attack! And we'll read. We'll redo. We'll redo. Okay, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. But it's fine. We still have our robe. Now let's try to put the robe on now. Right? Where? Robe. No! <laughs> Fuck. Use the word item instead of robe? Okay, where? Item. Because the thing is, when we had that plant, remember we found the little green plant? I just typed, like, eat the weed, and it ate it. Fuck. Should I go back to the people who were chanting and show my robe? Or can I not do that? Oh, fuck. Inventory. Oops, I spelled it wrong. No. Equip robe! I'm not equip! No! Please equip my robe! <gasps> please! Oh, someone has the decency to say please! <laughs> Maybe there's more items to put on the robe? Hmm. Oh, use robe. It's happening? What is? No? Examine robe? Oh yeah, examine. Classic. No. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Wear the fucking robe! Wear the god damn robe! Damn it. Search the robe? Search robe. I'm starting to think they just did a typo. There might be a typo. Maybe they typed it like road. Wear the robe. Rove. Maybe it's one rove. One letter off. Like, how could they mess this up? We got a robe! Equip the robe! We tried to equip the robe. Equip... Rob. Eat... <laughs> eat the robe. You definitely need to type the entire item name. Well, we didn't have to for the last item, but... We'll keep trying, I guess. Actually, it didn't even let me hit enter. Oh, it did that time. Fuck. Go back and try the left path. <laughs> what is where rope and touch? <laughs> Have you tried talking to the guy again? Maybe it's auto cook? Yeah, we went to the ghost. The ghost didn't like it. It's robe? Okay, let's spell it like that. Where robe? It didn't work. Read or view embroidery? View embroidery. Eh. Nothing here is gonna freaking do anything. <laughs> I think it's. Try slit. Slit. Sleege tag robe. Nope. <laughs> go back. Yeah, let's go back to the chanting bee cult. Come on, bee cult. Show robe. I guess they don't care about the robe. <laughs> No. Leave. Back. Escape. Attack. Nothing. Right. Don robe. Don the robe. <laughs> View the robe. Dude, we hit like a wall. We can't go any farther.
farther. Try slip into something more comfortable. Let's go left again, I guess, and have the dream or something. I don't know. This is crazy. Okay, the same dream. The rotten flesh. We are finally reunited. Maybe we should say that to them. Say we are finally reunited. <laughs> Honey cliff rope? Uh, this is impossible. Where's the developer? Someone get the developer on the horn. <laughs> Unite the robe. Throw the robe. Hmm. Get up. Okay. We just have to go back from this thing. Maybe there was something else we needed to find in here. The bees are dressed in the colorful robes. Man, look around. Look. Examine corpse. <laughs> Loot corpse. Steal the ghost. <laughs> This room, like, it says it contains racks with some broken urns. Torches. Maybe we need to take a torch. Take a torch. Take torch. Darn it. Unequip robe. Equip robe. Take out robe. This is fucked. Forward. Um... Search room. Search urns. Look urn. <laughs> Nothing works! Nothing works! Robe go on to B. Robe get on me. <laughs> Try ignore ghost. Alright, I mean, yeah. <sighs> we'll try to ignore the ghost. Wait, does it say anything here else that we can do? Piece of it tumbles to the floor. Hmm. Okay, you. Who are you? I am a bee. I'm. I seek the golden honey jar. <laughs> Damn it. Robe. Talk. Ignore ghost. Fuck. Really? Kiss ghost doesn't work? Come on. We are reunited. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, look, it said buzz back. That's cute. Buzz, buzz. Hug the ghost. Lick the ghost. Ah, yes. Lick the ghost. Sting! Sting the ghost. No, it's definitely we needed to put on the robe. We needed to put on the robe, but the game doesn't work. It's broken. I mean, it's really obvious. It's like, oh, you need to prove you're one of my people. And then we have the robe of the people, but we can't put it on. There must be a typo or something. Help! Help us, BB! Help us out. Frick. This is so fucked up. This is incredibly fucked up. Where disguise? Type in the developer's name. Danny E. K. Vandercoke! Danny E. K. It's a secret word. And go. Dang, it didn't work. Hi, Danny. Oh, oh my God! Hi there. <laughs> Hi, BB. Oh, maybe we gotta go back to the village. It wouldn't let us leave the area with the chanting bees. 
Show robe with embroidery. It doesn't let me hit enter on this for some reason. Wear robe with embroidery. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It worked! It worked! Oh my god! It worked! It worked! It worked! What the heck? What? It worked! We got it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, okay, what does it say? You quickly put on the robe and face the ghost with overwhelming confidence. Hear me, ghost! I am Barnaby! Barnaby B! Your long lost ancestor! The ghost stares at you in disbelief and humbly bows before you. Oh, great Barnaby! <laughs> the ghost whispers, forgive my ignorance. It's been so long since I've seen one of my ancestors. But you look so alive, that's odd. My spirit is strong, stronger than that of the living. You say to the ghost, see my glory. Yes, yes, I see it, the ghost sighs. Again, forgive me. Oh my god. Oh, it's all right, you reply. Now, be a good ghost and lay yourself to rest. Yes, oh, great Barnaby B, thy wish is my command. The ghost murmurs and slowly fades away. <coughs> We've defeated the ghost. Wiping the sweat from your forehead, you move towards the sarcophagus, remove the limestone lid, and stare right into the decayed face, why? Of the queen bee. Oh, she's holding a golden ring in her hands. And you reach for it. As you touch your hands, a horrible stench emerges from the coffin, and you step back, trying not to vomit. Classic. You cover your mouth and nose with the robe, reach into the sarcophagus again, and grab the golden ring as quickly as you can. Yes! You probably triggered some hidden mechanism inside the coffin, since the limestone door leading to the hallway slowly opens. It's time to return to the bees outside the mound, you think. Give this ring to the elder bee, and then get the hell out of here. You look at the burial chamber one last time and start to make your way back. Oh my god. I can't- we've done the- the undoable. You're back at the entry hall, and see that the seal covering the entrance is removed. The elder bee stands in the opening. You hand him the ring. No, oh chosen one! He says, your task is not finished yet. Fuck. What? You reply, I'm done with this. This is getting way too creepy. Before you know it, you're grabbed by the shoulders and knocked unconscious. If this is, if this is that wasp, we're done here. <laughs> you awake and find yourself at some kind of wedding ceremony. Oh, that's nice. Lying on a worn bed situated on a large brown barge, the barge slowly moves through a canal, flanked by large open structures filled with chanting bees. The bees are all dressed in brown rags, and even the sky looks brownish. The overall ambiance is quite depressing, due to all the brown colors, and you feel there's something off in this world. You look to your left and scream! Next to you lies the rotten corpse of a queen bee! No! dressed in the same brown rags as her people, and you rightfully assume it's the dead body of Queen Bronwyn Night Angel. Not Bronwyn. The elder bee steps forward and begins to proclaim a sermon in some foreign, long-lost tongue. <laughs> Did the dev use this game to propose? Oh my god. This would be a great proposal, huh? He finishes and looks at you. Oh, Chosen One, now is t the time to wed our beloved Queen Bronwyn Night Angel. Put the golden ring on her finger and let us once again rejoice in it. Okay, bees don't have fingers. Just saying. Let us once again rejoice in a golden era of her reign. You hesitate. Should you use the golden ring or try to escape? Shoot. 
That's a hard call. Because our goal is to get a golden key. So maybe we should run away with this gold ring and maybe we can trade it for a gold key somewhere else. Because I kind of feel like if we marry the queen, something horrific will just happen and then we'll die. <laughs> What do you guys want? You, okay? you guys want to get married? It's World Bee Day. We gotta marry the bee. Marry the bee. Oh, it didn't work. Use golden ring. Oh my god. Use ring. What the fuck? Okay, fine. We're escaping. We're out. You quickly toss the ring over the edge of the barge and hear it plunge into the muddy water. No! The elder bee shouts as he runs toward the railing. All the bees stop dancing and chanting, staring at the barge in disbelief. The wind dies down for a moment. You take your chance. You fly up and leave the dead city behind you. As you get higher, the wind is getting stronger and you're at the mercy of the storm. Tossed from left to right, you have no control and you drop down at a ledge at the edge of a canyon. At the edge... At the end of the ledge is a small opening leading into what looks like a mound. You get up to your feet, wipe the dust from your wings, and move toward the entrance of the hill. Oh! Alright! Forward. No. Entrance. Oh my god. Achievement unlocked! Warped Wasteland Beater! You guys, we beat the Warped Wasteland. Once inside the mound, you're... Eyes need some time to adjust to the dim light. In the center of the mound is a sarco another sarcophagus. You remove the lid and see there's a dead bee inside, wearing a Roman collar and black shirt. He looks a lot like the bee you saw earlier beneath the glass surface. In his hands, you see the object you've been looking for, a golden key! With a sigh of relief, you take the key and start to make your way back to the crossroads with the signpost. You've completed the warped wasteland! Oh my god, we completed the warp wing. Jason came over and he was checking out what I'm doing here. It's really scary. It's really, really scary. It's a trick. I'm starting to think this whole game was made like similar to Frog Fractions. It's like a whole thing is constructed to conceal this terrifying text adventure. It's all made to just hide this. Okay, so guys, we got one out of four golden keys. <laughs> one out of four. <laughs> Alright. So. <laughs> we defeated the warped wasteland. Let's check out the gruesome grotto. Not even one quarter of the way done. It recommends that you play it a second playthrough after the first one, so. <laughs> you wander off into a landscape dominated by rocks and sand. Far ahead of you, a soul mountain stands out. Putting one and one together, you figure the grotto must be somewhere in or near that mountain. Another mountain? And rocks and sand? As you move on, you take in the scenery. Wow, you think. This must be one of the most desolate places in the world. Aren't they all? <laughs> all you can see are rocks scattered all over the place with gray and black sands in, in between. The howling wind and roaring thunder add to the grim environment, making you feel lost. To your left, a massive sandstorm is gaining momentum, and you decide it's best to hurry on. Alright. Forward. Look at the background! There's like a custom background for each one of the levels and stuff. 
Like, this is where the effort went. <laughs> and be aware. <laughs> you arrive at the foot of the mountain and immediately spot the entrance to the grotto. What is a grotto? What's the definition of grotto? Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Didn't, like, Ariel have a grotto or something? What is a grotto? A small picturesque cave. Oh, it's picturesque. All right. It's dark in there, and without some kind of light, you won't be able to see anything. A small path to the right leads to a rock pile. On the path, you see footsteps, and a trail in the sand suggests something heavy was dragged along there. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Well, I wish we had a light source, but... I don't know, go to the right? Follow the path. Here we go. Following the trail to the rock pile, you trip over something half buried in the sand. Ouch! You cry out as you fall flat on your face. Taking a closer look, you discover the shriveled carcass of a bee! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not another shriveled bee! <laughs> in its withered hands, the dead bee holds a note. You pick it up and start to read. Dear fellow seeker, my quest for the golden honey jar led me to this place. <gasps> oh, shit. I've searched this grotto to no avail. Behind yonder rock pile, you will find a backpack with some useful appliances. Oh, hey. Hope it helps. My search ends here. My life force is leaving me, and I'm afraid I've come to my final resting place. Fare thee well. <laughs> Not another shriveled bee. Feeling sad for the dead bee, you decide to move on and check out the backpack. Find a backpack. You arrive at the rock pile, and after a quick search, you discover the backpack, sheltered from the elements underneath some rocks. You open the backpack and start searching its contents. Let's see. Hmm. A hairdryer? A toaster? A subscription to Reader's Digest? That's weird. <laughs> Why Reader's Digest? <laughs> As you dig through its contents, you finally find something useful. A flashlight! And it still functions! Hey! And it has a convenient cord attached to it, and you hang it around your neck. Congratulations! Congratulating yourself with this find, you look around you and see the sandstorm closing in fast. <gasps> Take... Oh, we already took the flashlight. Alright, um, go to the grotto, back, enter grotto, back, enter grotto, here we go. You enter the cave with extreme caution, in the faint light you can see the small sharp pieces of rock on the floor. The dark ambience is, ambience is getting on your nerves and as you proceed you hear weird noises coming from somewhere deep within the cave. The wind keeps howling inside the cave, and a strong draft indicates an exit somewhere in the back. It gets darker and darker. Okay. Forward. Don't we have a flashlight? Oh! Oh. <laughs> it's... <sighs> okay. Moving on through the darkness, you grope along the treacherous path. Before you know it, you cut yourself on the sharp rocks and trip. Crawling on, you lose your sense of time and direction. Too tired to move on, you lie down. Let's rest a while. Close my eyes, so tired. You never wake up. You're dead. <laughs> Did you use a light? No, you did not. Yet you moved on through the darkness. How silly can you be? <laughs> oh my god. Can it just use the light for me? What the fuck? Okay, it's fine. We're still at the entrance of the grotto. We're at the we're in the grotto. Use the flashlight, please. Thank you. Fucker game. Absolute fucker game. Using the flashlight, you carefully check the surroundings of the cave. You're in a large space and as you 
Move your torch from left to right. The minerals on the walls light up in a spooky fashion. The colors seem to blend into each other, making it hard to see any details. Suddenly, a rumbling sound makes you jump up. Behind you, the rock ceiling starts to shake and comes tumbling down with a deafening roar. You hastily move away from the crumbling ceiling as dust engulfs you. After a while, the dust settles. You realize the way back is cut off. Ahead of you are two openings, left and right. Okay, we're going right. <laughs> oh, I hear a sound. <gasps> you take the right. Quickly, the path narrows to a small tunnel. It looks almost man-made. As you proceed, you see carvings on the wall. The images seem to depict animals, but not like you've ever seen before. Beasts with massive bodies and long necks, alongside smaller creatures with open jaws and big fangs. Moving on through the passage, you stumble upon small, sharp arrowheads made of stone. Some have blood spatters on them. And on closer inspection, much to your amazement, the blood appears to be fresh! Just to be on the safe side, you pick up one of the arrowheads? In the distance, you hear a hissing sound. <gasps> it's a snake! It's a snake! Should we go on? Okay. Go on. Moving on through the tunnel, you see where the hissing sound comes from. It's a giant snake blocking your path. Its glow red glowing eyes peer at you, and from its fangs drops a venomous saliva fall to the ground. You, little bee. <laughs> little bee! <laughs> little bee! The snake hisses. What are you doing here? I, I, you stutter as the serpent comes closer. Oh, I know, says the snake. You're on a silly quest for some money, aren't you? How does he know? You're not the first bee I encounter here. The vermin's head is now mere inches away from you, and you can smell its spittle. Well, you're not going to pass, you little twit. This is my cave, <laughs> and I do not want you here. The snake retracts its head a bit, and you can feel he is preparing for an attack. <gasps> I need to act now, quickly. I mean, we gotta cut him with the arrowhead. Use arrowhead. You grab the arrowhead from beneath your wings, and as you dash forward, rip the snake's body open from head to tail! Oh my god! <laughs> the vermin screams in pain and anger, and its body starts to twist like mad. Blood gushes from the wound, and you quickly get the wound. It's cut open from head to tail. <laughs> That's past a wound. <laughs> <laughs> the snake now lies entangled behind you, its body still contracting, blocking the way back. Wow, that was close, you think, as you point your flashlight towards the path in front of you. Well, no need in lingering here. La 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 la. La la la. <laughs> the tunnel seems to be endless, and as you move on, you see more carvings. One stands up. As you look closer, you see something that resembles a key! <gasps> the golden key! Next Whoa! to the key, there's some kind of arrow. And next to the arrow, you see a jar! The jar of golden honey! Happy World Bee Day! Thank you so much, second base. Thank you for the bits. When are we going to see your classic collection? I don't know. I'm not much of a collection video maker, so I don't know. In the distance, you see light. You've come to the end of the tunnel, and as you exit, you step into a world you've never seen before, not even in your wildest dreams. In front of you lies a primeval forest, lush with vegetation of all sorts, and strange bat-like creatures are flying above in a blue, cloudless sky. Weird animals reminding you of the carvings on the walls roam the forest beneath you, stretching their necks to leaves on tall trees, peacefully foraging. <laughs> As you gaze in disbelief, a rumbling sound is heard, and as you see trees moving, a giant monster appears, clutching its claws into one of the foraging animals. Screaming in pain, the animal is devoured in mere minutes, leaving nothing but a bare carcass! <laughs> what is with this game? <sighs> you decide it's best to fly over. Alright, fly over the jungle. <laughs> 
Why did you have to describe a gruesome killing? For no reason. Uh, yeah, we got the robe on, Cindy Rabbit. We got it on. After much pain. <laughs> As you soar over the jungle, you try to figure out which way to go. The immense forest stretches out in all directions, and there are a number of possibilities. So great. Ahead of you, you spot a ledge at the end of the valley, situated high above the trees. To your right, you see a rock face with some cavernous openings, and these might just lead further into the gruesome grotto. To your left, you spot a river. Okay, so there's a ledge, a rock face, and a river. I'm thinking check the ledge first. Forward. Flying in a straight line, you notice a shadow coming over you. Oh, fuck. You look up a giant bat-like creature moving toward you. Its claws stretch out to you and its shiny fangs are visible. No! You dodge left and try to fly as fast as you can. Oh, fuck. Dodge. Dodge. Escape. Back. Go back. I guess we just, we escaped. We're fine. We're fine. We're going left to the river. Flying towards the river, its deafening roar promises nothing good. Oh, I hear it. I hear the river. Do you guys hear it? <laughs> they added all these sound effects. <laughs> there are no pathways next to the river as it plunges into a dark cave. You hover above it for a while, considering your possibilities. Well, do we go into the cave? Help, can't swim. Mm. No, we can't go in the cave. Go in cave. No. Swim. Go in the river. Back. Alright. Go right. Flying to the right, you notice a shift in the wind. You struggle to maintain balance. It becomes harder to fly. Your wings are getting bruised. Dang. Suddenly a big leaf smashes in your face and sticks to one of your legs. Now even more imbalanced, it's hard to fly off. <laughs> Still, the cavern-like openings in the rock face in front of you are coming within reach. Enter the openings! No? Fly to... Openings. Continue. Fly on. Forward. Oh, there. You keep flying towards the rock place, but as you reach the caverns, you see there are nothing more than but shallow spaces harboring the nests of the bat-like creatures? Oh no! <laughs> you decide it's best to turn back, but as you turn, a strongest of wind slams you into one of their nests, and to your horror, you see young, hungry bats with wide-open jaws. Within seconds, your body is shred to pieces! <laughs> Well, at least your death served a purpose. The little bat's parents are eternally grateful. <laughs> hey, why do we have a leaf in our inventory? Oh yeah, because it's stuck to our leg. <gasps> we can use the leaf as a boat in the river. Yes. Yes. I know. Left. Use leaf as a boat. Yes! Incredible. Realizing you've got a leaf at your disposal, you stick it to your feet and plunge into the wild river, shouting weird things like, Yeehaw Tonto! <laughs> and surfs up! <laughs> you ride your makeshift surfboard along the roaring flood, swaying from left to right and back, avoiding deadly rocks sticking out of the water. You keep riding the waves until the river becomes calm. You spot a sandy beach to your left and steer toward it. Once you set foot ashore, you see a trail in the sand. Alright! Yeehaw, Tonto! <laughs> okay... Follow trail. Following the trail, you soon see something against the rock face. It's another dead bee! <laughs> Is he shriveled? 
<laughs> you sigh. I wonder how many bees went on a quest for the golden honey jar, you think with sadness in your heart, and how many failed. As you look closer at the bee's corpse, you see it holds something in its hand. To your surprise, it's a key! What? Is it the golden key? Congratulating yourself with this find, you move on along the sandy shore. The beach is littered with all kinds of things, ranging from leafless bleached branches to the rotting remains of various animals. Why always with the rotting animals? Jeez. Ahead of you, your path is blocked by an enormous carcass of one of the carnivorous cr Another carcass! Suppressing your disgust, you climb through the bones, avoiding pieces of rotting meat. And walk on. Every time you fail, a dead carcass is retroactively added to the script. <laughs> I, I would believe that. <laughs> I would believe that at this point. <laughs> the river soon becomes less wide, as does the shoreline. You wonder where this path will lead to and if there's a way out. Continue. Move on. You move on along the narrow shore of the river until you see an opening to your left. Since the shore ends there, you enter and follow the path until you come to a ledge. Looking down, you see another path, and you jump down without hesitation. The sandy path stretches out in two directions, and you wonder where to go. Using your flashlight, you look to your left and see a shady character, uh-oh, in the distance. Cool that we still have our flashlight, though. I didn't expect that. Somehow, this figure gives you an unearthly feeling, and you decide to try your luck on the other side. And as you point your torch to the right, you see what you came for. Right in front of you, just a few feet away, there's a gate! Oh. Alright. <laughs> um, approach the gate. Don't go to the gate. Forward. What? What's... Right. Go right. Why? <laughs> Why are these commands not working? Oh, key! Oh my god! Use key! Oh! I forgot we had a key. Gruesome Grotto Beater? Oh my god, we just beat the Gruesome Grotto. <gasps> Using the key, the gate slowly opens with a screeching sound. Moving past the gate, you see a statue of a strange entity. There's a button at the base of the statue and you push it. Its jaw slowly opens and inside its mouth lies a shiny golden key! You pick up the key and you realize you're one step closer to finding the golden honey jar. Woohoo! <laughs> golden, a gruesome grotto! Defeated! Dang, we should have approached the shadowy fi figure. Oh my god, Sterling, Sterling. <laughs> Sterling, I bought this game on Steam and I did not know what it was going to be like. It said it was eight fun mini games about bees and bee trivia. And now I'm playing a horrific text adventure. It's horrible. It's a horror game. <laughs> it's insane. This game costs money? Well, yes, it did cost $1.99. Which I read on the Steam page is a 50% reduction from the old price. <laughs> yeah, it frog fractioned me! Literally, that's what I keep saying. I think this is frog fraction type stuff. They caught me. Like a fly to honey. <laughs> As they say. <sighs> I don't know if I can beat this. <laughs> we already have two golden keys, though. Okay, we still don't have any weapons to fight in the Ferocious Forest. Remember that when we went to the Ferocious Forest, we were enslaved by the Wasp, who we were not able to kill. So I think we gotta go Vile Village. We can do it. <laughs> Caught like a bee to a rotting carcass. <laughs> yeah, we are actually.
actually kind of close. Kind of. Maybe? We don't really know, but I hope so. Taking the path to the vile village. Viv, guess what? I'm in the village from Resident Evil. The vile village. Yeah. It's in my game. Yeah, it's in my game. I'm entering Resident Evil Village. It's probably gonna have more carcasses than Resident Evil Village. <laughs> you can't help but thinking about home. Yep, he's having his Frodo moment. How is everyone doing in the hive? Perhaps busy gathering nectar and feeding the babies. Oh well, no point in dwelling on that now. Let's get that golden key. Let's get that honey. The path you follow leads to a small forest. Look at the background for this one. It's like a well. It's like an old stone well and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, it is Resident Beeville. <laughs> it's a Resident Beeville. With gray withered trees bearing no leaves. Their branches somewhat resembling twisted bones. The forest gives you chills, and you move through it as fast as you can. Up ahead, you see the first sign of the village. Enter village. Just before you enter the village, you see a note blown forth by the wind. You pick it up and start to read. Dear reader, the note says, you're on a quest for that golden honey jar. How do I know? Well, else you wouldn't be here. No one in his right mind would visit these dangerous and seemingly deserted areas. Alas, I did too, and it didn't end well. I'm somewhere in one of the houses, at the end of my life. With me I have a golden key, which you can use to get the golden honey jar, hopefully. But I must warn you, this village is not as deserted as it looks, so think twice before entering. If you still persist, best of luck to you. This actually is Resident Evil Village. It really is. Oh well, you think, I'm here now, no point in giving up. You look around and see streets to your left and right, as well as the main street ahead of you, which probably leads to the center of the village. Oh fuck. Alright, we're going right. I always go right first. As you move right, you can't help but feeling depressed <laughs> by the deplorable state of the village. Where are the taxpayer dollars going to in this village? It's deplorable. <laughs> its inhabitants are long gone, but signs of their former occupation are omnipresent. Worn tools stand against the side of the house to your left, and a rusty bicycle lies in the middle of the street. Its color faded by the elements, an oil lamp in one of the window panes indicates a lack of technology, and you wonder how long it's been since people lived here. Can I take that stuff? Can I take the oil lamp and the bike and stuff? Looking ahead, you see the end of the alleyway. There's a large pile of debris, and you wonder if it contains anything of use. Why am I wondering if the debris pile has anything? I saw a lamp, lantern, a bicycle, tools, and I'm wondering about the pile of debris. Well, I guess we're gonna go search the debris. I'm just a dumb bee. As you search through the rubble heap, you notice a wooden board sticking out, and you realize you might be able to use this as a ramp. You keep searching for a while, but find nothing else of interest. Since the alley ends here, there's no point in lingering. Oh, I got a wooden board. Alright. Um, can I take the bicycle? Come on. Let me ride the bicycle. Nope. Okay, let's go left. You move on through the alleyway. To your left is a brick wall marking the border of the village. Portions of the wall are crumbled, revealing the dead forest behind it. To your right is some kind of shed, probably once part of a farmhouse. The thatched roof clearly has seen better days and is now collapsed. Somewhere in the shed, there's a faint noise of someone moving about. <gasps> you hear weird laughter! Sounds like some kind of madman! <laughs> Maybe he's just watching a really funny show. He's just watching my stream. <laughs> I hear it. I hear him. We 
you gotta go see what he's watching. Yeah, he might be watching Family Guy. Enter. Um, enter, what is it called? A shed. Approach shed. Come on, forward. <gasps> yes. As you leave the shed behind you, the remains of what probably was a farmhouse appear to your right. Its windows are broken and cluttered with cobwebs. The front door hangs loose in its hinges, moving in the wind, creating a screeching and rattling sound. The once white plastered walls are covered with dirt. You can't help but wonder how long it's been since anyone lived here. At the end of the alley, you see a rusty gate and a damaged wall. Forward. Go to gate. You approach the rusty gate and see it's locked. Peering through the posts, you see a cobblestone street. <gasps> Hopefully the key you fit picked up earlier fits the worn lock? Oh no. I don't think we have a key right now. Dang it. We need to go find a key. Alright. We'll go back. How come we can't go into the where the madman is? <laughs> Enter the shed! <laughs> no fair. Alright. Forward. There might be a key still here. Moving on through the main street. Oh my god, what? I hear the man laughing again. <laughs> Why is he laughing here too? <laughs> you see houses in a deplorable state. <laughs> Window shutters are rattling in the wind, creating an eerie atmosphere. Cracked plaster in the walls reveal rough and broken masonry. The roofs lack tiles everywhere, which have fallen into the street, creating hard-to-pass obstacles. Since the strong wind makes it impossible to fly, you have to carefully maneuver around these piles of rubble. As you take a closer look at one of the houses, you notice a shadow moving behind the shutters and start to feel nervous. Oh my, you think? What the heck is moving in there? A sudden laughter from the house <laughs> intensifies your anxiety. You move as fast as you can. Why? He's just watching Family Guy in there. At the end of the main street, you see the town square, and in the center there's a large dried out fountain. Alright, you guys. I need to, um... BRB for one second, okay? I'm gonna put on the... the don't be scared of the creepy laughing madman in the background. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. laughing on in the background. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's up in the fountain. Check fountain. <laughs> no.
Nobody knew that World V Day would turn into a horror stream. Nobody knew. Nobody could have ever predicted. You enter the town square with caution, keeping your guard up because of the laughter you just heard. The fountain stands tall in the center, and around it is a small street flanked by abandoned houses. The way forward is blocked by a collapsed house, turning the square into a cul-de-sac. On the front of the dried out fountain, you see markings depicting a key and an arrow. <gasps> you look in the basin, however, the harsh wind makes it dangerous to fly up. <gasps> Use wooden board! You use the wooden board as a ramp to get into the fountain. The basin, once filled with water, is now nothing more than a place for dirt and rubble. Searching through the rubble, carefully avoiding the sharp edges of roof tiles and other debris, you find what you were looking for. A key! Yep. We got what we need. Okay, let's go back to... Left. And forward. And use the key. No, forward. Gate. Yes, use key. <gasps> you open the lock with the key you found earlier, and you enter a broad cobblestone street, stretching to both sides. Most of the villas standing here have large cracks in the walls, and some window panes are pushed outwards, their glass broken. One villa stands out, the one right in front of you. Its walls are leaning forward in an unnerving fashion, and you take a few steps back. Unfortunately, one too much! You hit the gate while stepping back, and it slams shut. The key drops from the lock on the surface, and you realize there are only two options. <gasps> what, are, what are the two options? <laughs> Die or go forward? <laughs> I hope the developer sees this. I know, I kind of do too. They're probably waiting for someone to find and play their creepy um, text adventure. <laughs> oh, okay you guys, I got a text message I have to read, so I'll be right back again, okay? No scary laughing this time. Happy Easter, Xbox. <laughs> to reply to. Did you guys see Usher? I think Usher wanted in on uh, World B Day. <laughs> okay, you, uh, we opened the gate. Oh yeah, we have to um, go into the villa, I guess. There's one villa in front of us. Enter villa. No? Forward. No? I don't get it. Forward to villa. <laughs> Go in villa. Approach villa. Check windows. What? What am I doing wrong? Straight? Forward march. What's 
what's going on? Most of the villas have large cracks in the walls. Some window panes are pushed outward. Is there glass broken? One villa stands out, the one in front of you. Its walls are leaning forward. Huh? Forward. When I write that, it says unable to go forward like you suggested. Be more specific. Do I need to crawl? Left? Oh, okay, left or right. Oh, god. It didn't say left or right. <laughs> Moving left, you feel a sudden shift in the cobblestones, followed by a rumbling roar coming from deep below. The villa in front of you starts to shake and breaks loose from its foundation in just a few seconds. What? The severely cracked walls of the house come tumbling forward and you dash to the left. Merely escaping an almost sudden death, you wipe the dust from your body and look ahead of you. You see a short street flanked by once luxurious villas, now in a derelict state. Oh, how deplorable. At the end, you spot what looks like a well. <gasps> Approach the well. As you move toward the well, you look in awe at the villas surrounding you. This must have been a place for the rich and shameless! <laughs> Maybe they were country houses of some sort. All the villas have marble covers on the walls. Shameless. Albeit broken now. And the window panes look like they were made of delicate wood. The once beautiful gardens are withered and cluttered with debris. Aww. You arrive at the well, and since the street ends here, you only have one option. Search the well. You look down into the well. And to your surprise, you see a faint light. Without further delay, you jump down and splash into awful smelling sewage. How is there sewage? Oh, I guess there is the one laughing man. It's his sewage. <laughs> With disgust, you pull yourself on a ledge and try to wipe off the stinky stuff as much as possible. You look around and see that the light comes from torches on the brick walls. And you wonder who is living here. Someone's living in the well in the sewage? There are three pathways. Left, right, and straight ahead. Oh boy. Someone's living down the well. Uh, I got another text. Let me read my text quick. Okay. Um, let's go right first. Moving right, the environment changes from rough bricks and gruesome smelling sewage into walls decorated with red tapestry and fairly clean water. How can it be clean if it's so clean <laughs> nearby sewage? Into a small canal. To your surprise, you see a bee in the distance. Oh, he's wearing a little green hat. And a small red robe. The bee spots you as well and waves you to come over. Bee sounds cute. Hi there, you say to the bee. What are you doing here? <laughs> I better ask you, says the bee. You're trespassing. What do you mean? You ask, surprised. This is the kingdom of the great king rat. <laughs> oh no. You are not allowed here. If you move on, I will surely kill you. What? He takes a little sword from underneath his robe and waves it dauntingly in front of you. You weigh up the risk of moving on past the V. Yeah, what the heck is right? Come on. I'm just a little bee trying to get by. Trying to get some honey. King rat. I'm going back. I'm going to see what's the other ways before I fight him. Steel hat? Oh my god, I should steal his hat. <laughs> you move straight into a barely lit section of the sewer. It's hard to see anything, and you proceed with caution. In the distance, you can see two red lights glowing in the dark. You hesitate. Is it moving on such a good idea? However, the thought of the luscious golden honey jar... Oh my god, it's probably the king rat. I'm thinking the king rat is up ahead. Yeah, this is a game about bee facts. Should we go ahead? It's probably the king rat. 
closing in on the red lights, you see they're part of something bigger, but the faint light prevents you from seeing what it is. Well, you think, I've overcome many perils so far. I think I can handle this one as well. The lights start to move fast toward you. The moment you realize it's a giant rat coming at you, it's too late. The rat opens its jaws and bites your head clean off before you can even scream you're dead. <laughs> I saw that coming. Head bitten off by a rat. Put that one on the books. Head's bitten off by a rat. Gotta go left. Oh, unable to go left? Back. <laughs> you decide to take the left path, and you move on, cautiously navigating along the ledge. The walls are covered with slimy green stuff, and you avoid touching them as much as you can. There's less torches here, and it becomes difficult to see anything. The ledge becomes even smaller, and there's a risk of falling into sewage. <gasps> move on. We gotta. As you reach the final torch, you feel less inclined to move on. However, there seems to be something ahead. Though you can barely make out what it is, still the thought of the golden honey jar keeps you driving you on, as it did so many times before. Dark, careful now. You move on against your better judgment. Groping the walls, you notice you've reached the end of the sewer. But wait, there's something else. You reach for the floor and feel something that resembles a cloth. <gasps> I take it with you. It might come in the endy. <gasps> Item robe and hat. We got another disguise. Second disguise. We got it. We can put this on. Wear robe and hat. Wear robe and hat. Wear robe. Put on robe. No? Alright. Maybe we go up to him first. Um. Put on robe and hat. Don't tell me we're in another one of these fucker parts where it's gonna make us type a thousand things to try to progress. Oh, good. We're good. We wore the robe and the hat. <laughs> Quickly, you put on the robe and hat. Look, you say, I'm one of you. Eh, says the bee, somewhat surprised. Yes, you do look like one of us. Oh, well, you may pass. <laughs> he puts away his sword and steps aside. Wait, he says. One question to verify you are legit. Whose kingdom is this? Why, you reply. It's the kingdom of the great king rat. Who else? All right, says the bee. You're just in time for his majesty's daily speech. <laughs> Don't let me catch you here again. You snicker as you pass the simple bee <laughs> and move along the canal. Wait, I want to hear his daily speech. Can I hear the daily speech? Aww. <laughs> At the end of, oh yes, we get to hear the daily speech. At the end of the canal, you enter a big hall. Many bees have gathered there. And in the dimly lit space, we see Great King Rat on a stage at the end of the hall. All the bees are dressed as you are, as you are, and it actually looks a bit silly. <laughs> as you move through the crowd to get a better look at the rat, you notice something peculiar. All the bees seem to be mesmerized, and they stare at the rat with pure admiration in their eyes. You approach the stage, and to your surprise, you see a necklace with a key around the rat's neck. That key might come in handy, but how on earth are you going to get it? Is it my golden key? Hail to the king, the rat shouts, and the ch crowd chants, Hail to the king! Today is a big day! It's World Bee Day! <laughs> the rat says, For today, the new bee bread production line will be fully operational! And as you all know, I just love bee bread. <laughs> oh my god, remember the bee bread from the trivia earlier? It's all coming around. You scratch your head in disbelief. A rat that fancy bee bread? So, all of you move your arse to the production line <laughs> and start to work. He's Irish, I guess. The bees all hastily move towards the exit of the hall, and you wonder if he should go to the production line or speak to the king. <laughs> Alright, speak to the king. I gotta get my key. 
When all the bees have gone, you step forward to face the king. You, little bee, why are you not working? Shouts the king. I, I, you stutter. I'm here on a quest and would like to ask you something. A quest? Echoes the king. Ah, you mean you're looking for that elusive golden honey jar. Just like all my slaves. <laughs> Dang, all of them are looking for the jar. Well, you won't find it here since it does not exist. <gasps> no! It doesn't exist? No! <laughs> Game over. Now get to work! It does exist! You cry out to the king, and I will find it! <laughs> you dash forward and grab the key from the king's necklace? Dang! But the king is faster and grabs you with his claws. Oh, silly, silly bee, he says, <laughs> just before he squeezes the life out of you. Oh, dang. The last thing you hear is the awful laughter of the king. Your dead body falls to the ground and your quest ends here. I guess we gotta go to the... Gotta get to work. <laughs> go work. Production line. That rat got two kills on us. We're up to score deduction of three bags. This is fucked up. We're not gonna get any bags. As you enter the space with the production line, you see big piles of pollen and a large barrel containing nectar. You wonder how it got there since the wastelands above are far from fertile. The bees start to work using the nectar to make honey and then mixing it with the pollen. They add some secretions. Oh, educational! Guys, we finally reached the educational part. <laughs> this is how bee bread is made. They add some secretions and the first bee breads start to roll off the line. You suddenly have an idea, and you pick up one of the breads from the line, add extra nectar, and bring it to the hall. <gasps> We're gonna bribe him. We're bribing him with the with the bread. Uh oh, we're at the king. What's wrong with you? Speak up. What do you want? Why are you not working? Give bee bread. No? Do what you came for. <laughs> um feed bee bread. Attack with bread. <laughs> Oh my god, Botany! You're 32 coins away? Dang. Oh my god, Walter, don't play. Walter's gonna ban you and you lose all your coins. <laughs> Do you lose your coins if you're banned? <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh. Trade B bread? Trade, okay, trade B bread. Maybe it's just give bread. Use bread. Use bee bread. Yes! My king, you say. I've made this bread especially for you, to honor your glory. As this rat is very susceptible to flattery, <laughs> he beckons you to come over. You step forward and present him the bread. Hmm. This looks and smells good. Better than any other bread I've seen. He accepts the bread and starts to eat. Soon the added nectar does its job and the king falls asleep. <gasps> the simple rat. You approach him with caution, ignoring his loud snoring, and carefully remove the key from the king's necklace. You tread silently as you back out of the hall and see there's another exit. You enter a small tunnel and start to run like mad, afraid the king will awake before you've had a chance to flee. After a while, you stop to rest a bit, and in the distance you spot a faint light. <sighs> All right, move on. You arrive at a dead end. As you look up, you see a ladder. At the end of the ladder, there's a grate through which the light is visible. Climb, oh, use the key. The grate is locked. We're out. <gasps> Vile village beater. Using the key to open the grate, you climb up and enter one of the deserted villas in the vile village. The first thing you notice is the corpse of a bee. <laughs> Of course. 
lying at the bottom of a stairway. In his hands, he holds something you've been looking for all along. It's a golden key! You've completed the vile village. Type back to return to the crossroads of the signpost. Yes! Three golden keys. Oh my god. But... But I don't understand. So the only one we haven't gotten was the ferocious forest, but how do we even get it? We already been here. We've been in this ferocious forest. <laughs> um to the right. Okay, there's a path to the left and to the right. Okay, so there's only left and right. Man! Well, to the right, didn't we get enslaved by a wasp? And to the left, we got eaten by fairies? <sighs> what? What can we do? Um, okay, path meandering into darkness. Notice the increased number of the red lights. Move on down the twisted path. I see a clearing. Okay. Forward. Clearing. Enter the clearing. You're surrounded by the fairies. Yeah. The hideous creatures. They're gonna kill me in the pit. Maybe we just wanna jump into the pit. Right? Or do you die in the pit? Let's jump in the pit. No? Jump in pit. Jump! Enter pit! Oh boy. <laughs> Jump didn't work. I don't know. I sucked dry. Should have brought some of that bee bread. Attack! No, we did attack before. Is there a way to defend myself? Fly! Jump! Duck! <laughs> Look inside? Look inside. Look in pit. <laughs> what are these sound effects? I don't know. This is the sound effect of fairies, apparently. Ooh, dive? Dang. Run? Um, kill. Hmm. Use the pit. Use golden key. <laughs> Fuck. Oh! We went back! We were able to go back. We're going right. Maybe somehow we'll do something different in this horrific scene with the wasp. <laughs> okay, we go in the staircase, start climbing the stairs. Climb the stair. See that the light waves back and forth. A slight hissing sound, you shiver. Follow the light. Ha ha ha. Yep, here's the hornet. <laughs> A measly little bee! He mobilizes you. Man. Okay, maybe... Okay, well we prepare the meal. And then... <laughs> this is a classic. You vomit and he goes, Did I order sauce? This is our chance. This is when he's vulnerable. How do we figure out how to attack? Do we still have our flashlight? It says item none. Use flashlight. No. Tickle? Oh, tickle! He's ticklish. No. <laughs> Snap his neck. 
snap neck. Dang. Show him the golden key. <gasps> Dang, look, it says shit happens right here. Crap language. Oops. Dang, this game has swear word. <gasps> Use gun. Shoot gun. where it ends we try to attack attack did well we can show you what attack does again but fly away uh, dig jump sleep <laughs> surrender go back <laughs> I can go back if I die, that's about it. Impale with Stinger. Right? You'd think the Stinger would come into play. Oh, play dead. Darn. Escape. Sting. Use Stinger. <gasps> oh my god! Use Stinger! Oh no, it didn't work? We died? You realize it might be only time to escape. You look around for a way to kill a beast. Since you've only got your bare hands, your chances are slim to none. The hornet turns around and looks at you with a wicked grin. Don't even think of trying to escape. You'll be next on the menu, useless slave. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what the heck? No! <laughs> what do we do? We need a weapon for the fairies or for the hornets. This is crazy. This is ludicrous. This is just absurd. There's nothing to do. Use flashlight. What? Typing use flashlight made me get to this rat thing. I mean, <laughs> the hornet thing. Go back, go back! No! <laughs> Escape! We're chained to a tree stump. Oh. Maybe there's something we can do here instead of preparing the meal. I don't know. <laughs> Go for it, man. Wait, do bees breathe fire? Fuck. Oh my god, it's been four hours. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't eaten dinner yet, but it's just, I know if I turn this game off, I'm never going to turn it back on again. And we're never going to know what happened. I need to break the chain while he has his back turned? Mm. How do I break the chain? Oh my god. the meal. Cut chain. Break chain. Unlock chains. Unlock key. Use golden key. Fuck. I don't know. Make bee bread. It just seems like th 
this is the moment where you need to have an item already previously, like, you know? Like, he's vulnerable, but when we do anything, like, we need an item, I think, so. Let's try to get to the fairies and think of something to do with the fairies again. Can we take the signpost and use it as a stabbing weapon? Uh, oh my god, Botany! You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, Botany. For three months in advance? Oh my god. Thank you so much, Botany, for the huge sub. Happy World B Day. <laughs> the Golden Froggers. You enter the ferocious forest. Let's see if there's anything we missed. Lightning is flashing on bare trees. The red lights are visible. Oh man. Fear almost gets the best of you. You look over your shoulder and see the entrance. Turn forward and looking ahead you see a path. Okay. Should I go back and try to find my way home? No, I guess we can't do that. Oh my god, you only need eight coins? It's getting so close. There's no option other than forward. Alright, we go forward. Move through the dark tunnel. You wonder how long it's been. Strange days, lost sense of time. Will they miss me? Oh wait, so there's no signpost even. There's left and right. That's it. Man, this is fucked. There's no other way! Wait, what are we doing a bet for? <gasps> he got it! <laughs> he got it! Yay! Yay! Little Prime! Little Prime is very beating. Beating! Congratulations, Botany. Here's the instructions. Just email me the shipping address and um, if you can click me and whisper me on Twitch to verify the email address so I know it was you. Congratulations. Another mysterious mail prize. <laughs> the bet was a bit too late. Yeah, I didn't even know what you guys wanted to bet on. I didn't, I, I was not understanding. Man. There's nothing here for us. There's just two pathways. I feel like we're missing it. We're missing an item. Is this testing our bee knowledge? Is this like we need to know something about bees? What defense do they have other than the stinger? I mean, we can try singing, we can try chanting, we can laugh, we can tickle them. Vomit. It's weird that we can't go in the pit. Go in the pit. Enter pit. Forward. Oh, I thought that happened. I thought that worked. Look, it says you're dead. Did you have a weapon? No. So why why try to move on unarmed? <gasps> we need a weapon. It's confirming. How do we get one? How the heck do we get a weapon out of this? It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Can we just go back? Where do we go if we go back? Oh! Beware the evil! Flee while you can! Hmm. Is there a weapon here somehow? <laughs> Maybe we missed a weapon like at the beginning of the game? Before we got to the signpost? Remember? We were like doing other stuff.
Let's see if we lost. Maybe we missed out. Wander off into the wasteland where left, right, and forward are viable options. See, maybe we just went. We need to go left and right and forward here. There's nothing here. If we proceed, you'll die. <gasps> but maybe we won't this time. Remember? Sometimes we died from this, but there might be one. There's probably a. This is a fucker's trick. I think one of them will be. One of them will have something. Forward. We're, we're proceeding. We might die. Okay, yeah, we died. Okay, we died on that one, but you know. <laughs> what have we got to lose? Because then tight. Okay, well, let's try forward. Wait, was this? Oh, this is what the signpost is. Okay, let's go to the right. Dang it. I think this is actually, um... <gasps> Wait, can we go right? Dude, we can go right and left! <gasps> we can go right and left on all of these! Oh no. <laughs> We're losing all the bags! I know! I'm not gonna get any bags for beating this. You guys, I think somewhere in here maybe there's like a... Maybe there's a weapon hidden in one of these ways that we can go. Left. Forward. We lost five bags. We're losing them all. We're losing all the bags. <laughs> Fuck. Left. Left. No! Right. <laughs> Do you think this is... Am I onto something here or not? Am I being crazy for trying to search? Because for some reason, I thought you could only go forward in those, but you can go left or right, too. We must have missed something somewhere. Let's try left, left, left. Nope. <laughs> right. We've lost seven bags. We've lost seven bags. There's no turning back now. We're not getting any bags out of this. Just satisfaction of finally beating it. <laughs> oh no. Here, maybe we can take the smoking pile of ash from the the cur the <laughs> the withered bee. something here? Oh no. I'm lost now. I'm so lost. Huh. Interesting. So we're just in kind of a loop with this, um, this page. Alright you guys. Where's the weapon? We need brainstorm. the signpost. Alright, I guess we'll go for it. Signpost. Take the signpost. Nope. <laughs> Take the leaflet? about the places. The warped wasteland. Could there have been a weapon there somewhere that we missed? I don't know. The thing is, all the other 
areas have been self-contained, so I don't know why this one isn't. Or maybe it is and we're just not thinking of. Use the dead bee as a weapon, like take the dead bee's stinger. So you think we should go back to the, um, the grotto? I mean, the ferocious forest. Alright. Loot the bee. Loot the dead bees. Okay, we're at the, the fairies. Okay. The fairies are sucking dry the bees. Loot bee. Loot dead bees. Take stinger. Take dead bee stinger. <laughs> Hi Michael Owens, thank you. Take bee. Loot bee, loot. Hit fairy, scream. <laughs> I don't know, Wonder Baby, I don't know. Ferocious forest. This is the thing that's killing us. Oh. No. Oh. We tried flying away. Loot fairy. Knife. Stab. Sting. Now, whenever we say attack, it kills us. It automatically kills us. Hmm. Impale. <laughs> I come up with so many verbs for stab. Um, befriend. Yeah. Defend. <gasps> Defend? Oh no, that kills us too. The teeth sink into our bleeding body. The fairies suck the life out. Till our shriveled skeleton falls to the bottom of the pit. <laughs> Wait, maybe we can fall. Fall in pit. Pit. Damn it. I don't get it. What's the deal with this pit? Jump pit. Oh, what if we cross over the pit? Cross the pit. Fly over the pit. No. Cross pit. Run. Damn it. Yeah, we've tried jump in the pit. We tried dive, we've tried jump. Sleep on pit. Listen, I'll try anything. Throw a key in the pit. Sure, why not? Throw key in pit. Throw. Jump. Toss. Golden key. Show golden key. Use golden key. This is the fucker game of all time. And there's no... There's no walkthrough. I just don't know. Do we still have the wooden plank? You think we have the plank still? No. Inventory. It doesn't ever tell you what's in your inventory. I don't think we have anything. Play dead? Play dead. Yeah, no one has beat this game before. Overheat wasp. <laughs> That's how they kill them. Oh no. Eat the fairies. Bite them. Bite fairy. Yeah, I don't understand the pet. It's like we should be able to go in the pet or something. I don't know. Sometimes things in this don't have any purpose at all. Alright. Lead to pit. Enter pit. Go in pit. Go forward. Oh no, forward kills you. Oh yeah, and it says, do you have a weapon? No, I should try to move on unarmed. Where are we getting this damned weapon? Hmm. May 
maybe while we are in the clearing, wait, hold on. It says, one daring devilish fairy stings you in your butt. Maybe we can remove the stinger. Take stinger. Use fairy sting. <laughs> oh, that killed me. Oh my god, score deduction, eight bags. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Huh. Wait, didn't they um... Wait, where am I? Clearing. One of them stings my butt anymore. I'm so confused. Why does it say they sting my butt anymore? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it does say it. I'm so blind. Okay, it does say it. Okay, good. I'm thinking we can get this, get the fairy stinger somehow. Use. I'm just losing. Like my eyes are literally sore right now. My eyes are like sore and. I just want to beat this horrible game, and World B Day is nothing like I imagined it would be. <laughs> no. Use Stinger gets us killed. Remove Stinger. Take Fairy Stinger. Take Sting from Butt. <laughs> Yeah, the music! The music! <laughs> what should we do, you guys? I'm at a loss. Slime Puss! Thank you so much for subbing for two months, Slime Puss. Oh man. Remove Stinger? Did I not do that one yet? Let's try. Nope. It doesn't go through. Take out Stinger. Tormenting me. <laughs> Steal weapon. Search for weapon. Look for weapon. Examine stinger. Examine pit. Enter pit. Is it possible to grab the fairy? Let's try it. Grab fairy. Where are the exoskeletons? Where exoskeletons? Mm, where exoskeletons? Dang it. Down? Dang. You found a website from the developer? <laughs> Did he post a walkthrough? into pit, fall, roll, barrel roll, dodge, run. <sighs> Does it say anything on the website? Up. We've tried flying. Fly away. Up. Whistle. Throw a rock. Um. Blend in. <laughs> the weapon's in a different room, but we only have two rooms here. We only have the middle room here. Well, this is like the room leading to that room. I did it as two words. I did exoskeleton as two words. You can email him? Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody email him and ask him how to defeat the ferocious forest. 
<laughs> Everyone email and ask him how to defeat the ferocious forest. Cause I don't know what to do. I searched everywhere. Enter the forest. Look for a weapon. Pick up a branch? Pick up a branch. <laughs> What's the email? Uh, I don't know. Cat's like, it doesn't let you post the email here. Yeah, nobody be mean. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Please never contact anyone and be mean. That's always the wrong thing to do. <laughs> oh, thanks, Grant. Well, unless there's just something we're really missing here, I really think we're stuck. Because I. Something about the red lights. Well, the red lights turn out to be like the fairy's eyes, right? Dark tunnel for a dark, dense forest. You wonder how long it's gonna be? Yeah, there's nothing. Just left and right. I mean, to the right is where there's like the glowing, um. Pick up a rock. Oh, that just made me climb the stairs. <laughs> Maybe it's right here. Maybe this is the moment. Whenever we get here, I always type prepare my meal. I always type prepare meal. Maybe we should do something else. Cut chains. Unlock chain. Escape. Vomit. Spit. Negotiate. Show golden key. Take the caterpillar carcass. Search carcass. Search caterpillar. Take caterpillar. Open carcass. Eat carcass. Search for a weapon. Ooh, poison the meal? Well, that'd be cool, but I don't think we're poisoned. Dang. Sting. Caterpillar. Hmm. Secrete venom into caterpillar. Dang it. Is there a knife from the meal? Well, it says like we cut the caterpillar up, but it doesn't really. I don't think it realizes that that involves a knife, you know? Um. Be venom in meal. Poison meal. <laughs> You're chained to a tree stump. Chew tree stump. Cut tree stump. Use golden key. Spit in the meal. Prepare the meal and pick up the knife. Pick up the knife. Maybe you need snake venom. Oh, there was that snake. With the venom. In the grotto. Hmm. Interesting. Hide the knife? <gasps> Didn't work. <laughs> Talk to the parrot. Oh god. Why not stab the fairy with a golden key? I think we might have tried Invisible Man. Mm. Claws reach away from the side of the path. Dang it. This is so bizarre. <laughs> All the other worlds... have had like it's been self-contained we've been able to do it well there's 20 different songs included in this game holy crap well half of them are horror music sounds <sighs> prepare 
prepare the meal? Man. Alright, we'll prepare the meal again. We st See, it says we start cutting the flesh. But it doesn't really address that you have a knife. But it seems like it would. Maybe pick up knife? He's vulnerable, but we have no weapon. Use your pincers. If we say sting or attack, it tells you that you lost. Like, it just tells you, like, oh, you lost. Sneak. Sneak. Escape. Cut chains. Look for a knife. Kill hornet. That'll probably tell us, like, he beat it. Oh, no. Steal knife. Yeah, see, I don't even know if there is a knife. Maybe we just cut the caterpillar with our hand or something. <laughs> Ooh, a bee dance? Yes, do a dance. Dance. Dang it. Hide. Well, the stinger, um... I don't know. It does, if you, like, say, like, sting, sting hornet or something... It did do it once. We found a way to use the stinger, but it did this. Look. Attack. If you attack, it just says, You realize this might be your only chance to escape. You look around for a way to kill the beast. You've only got your bare hands at your disposal. Your chances are slim to none. See, it means like we need a weapon again. The hornet turns around and looks at you with a wicked grin. Don't even think of trying to escape. You'll be next on the menu. See? There were some weapons. Remember we got like an arrowhead? But it's gone, I guess. Connor McGoo, thank you so much for subbing, Connor. Enjoy the emotes. Happy World B Day. I don't know, like we had the arrowhead and um, I do remember that there was a little sword that the bee had. That one be in the gruesome grotto. Um, our arrowhead is gone though, isn't it? Like it keeps saying, look, it says like we had, it said we had only our bare hands or whatever. So I don't know. Let's go back and see. Go live on. What? Why does this work? Forward. Climb staircase. There we go. Okay, prepare the meal. Use arrowhead. Nah. We don't have it anymore. Do we have a pointy stick? I wish we had a pointy stick. We just need a weapon. For both of these situations, we just need a weapon. What about choke? Mm. I don't know. It just feels like... Uh, it feels impossible. You guys, I gotta... I know this is very... This is... I don't want to do this, but it's 10 p.m. I gotta go. I can't continue. But I'm hopeful that the person who created this game will see any emails and respond about the ferocious... But I don't think we can save this text adventure. Oh, I'm so torn. But it's too crazy. My eyes hurt. How are we ever gonna beat this fucker game? There's no way. I got it. I have to go though. I'm so sad. Ah, <laughs> uh, we exhausted all, all of our ideas, right? Don't close it? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, it's one of those games that doesn't minimize. It takes up my whole full screen. <laughs> Dang. I really, really wanted to beat it. Start 
from the beginning? Oh my god. Oh wait! But wait, do you know what I just remembered though? Remember when you clicked help? This is actually helpful. Look, when we read this help page, it says that you can visit four regions. Once a key is found, that region will no longer be accessible until all the keys and the golden honey jar are found. See? So we actually can't re-enter any of them. Ah! Weird, right? The game is saved automatically? Whoa, really, Wonder Baby? <gasps> Does it say that in here? Oh, the game is saved automatically! You can always leave and continue. Oh, we're saved! We're saved! We're fine! We're saved! Try using the hotkey. Yeah. I don't know, we're fine, we're fine. Maybe we'll hear word from the... I missed bits? I'm sorry, thank you for bits. I'm out of it from this B game, right? It's... <laughs> But yeah, hopefully we'll hear from the developer, or maybe we'll think about something that we missed, or, f you know, maybe we'll sleep on it, we'll have a brain blast, whatever. You know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but I gotta go, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy World B Day. <laughs> I hope you all <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> See you all soon. Bye-bye.